Okay, guys, we are live. Uh, so for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I'll be your friendly Grim and Perilous Master today, because today we are carrying on with our adventure, a, a war story set in the same setting as our ongoing Rogue Trader campaign, but we are maybe concluding uh, an adventure that we have been playing with Wrath and Glory, Cubicle 7's, or one of Cubicle 7's Warhammer 40k RPGs that they uh, publish. This is part four of the Hands of the House uh, adventure, so if you are joining us for the first time and don't want to see just how things end up, um, head on back to one of the earlier sessions. Uh, we have a playlist listed on the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. This is in both the separate uh, Hands of the House uh, playlist as well as the uh, ongoing Rogue Trader, uh, the Into the Maw playlist as well. So um, if you are here for tonight, well then uh, welcome and let me introduce you to the stars of today's campaign. I'll go the order, actually I'll go reverse order maybe because we'll end with the um, uh, our first uh, or our new addition uh, to the uh, to the crew. So first up, let's start with uh, Sean. Who are you and who are you playing? No, oh, you are yeah. also giving us an opportunity to toast my. I, <laughs> so I am Dr. Klaus, the uh, fully masked at all time uh, medic. Yes, very nice. I think it's actually called. There is a name for it, isn't uh, it's uh, uh yeah, uh, Medi death case? something. Let's see. No, it's uh, not the death code. There's it's the, they don't call them medics. They call them like quartermasters or something like that. Like, uh, oh, yeah. There, there's a specific name they have for in the death core. Um, is it but, in the regular book? Um, I think I, it's probably in Discord. I was probably a smart ass and I'll commented look, look, on it there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, next up is Jeffrey. Everybody, I'm Jeff, and I'm playing Ignatius Aquare, who nice. is a, I don't know, what's his title? I always forget. A rogue trader. Is he a rogue trader as well? He is. Oh, I thought he had a slightly, okay. He is a rogue trader. Uh, I mean, kind of. Come on, let's be honest. Let's... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if he was Oh, we fully... have been calling him a factotum. Oh, Factotum. That's yeah. right, it. Factotum. Yeah, yeah I, I knew he had a slightly different title. There you yeah. go. Uh, the Factotum. Next up is James. Yeah, Factotum's Latin for gopher. <laughs> <laughs> All-purpose shit on boy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm James, and I am playing Desura, the sanctioned psycho working for the Aquari. Nice. And last, but certainly not least, is our resident armorsmith and new character, uh, or playing the new character, it's Dave. Hey, everyone. I'm Dave, and I'm playing Archon the Unseen, the Eldari something. Nope. <laughs> Can we go then? He is uh, a what? Void Reaver, I believe. Void Reaver. Yeah. Cool. So, guys, um... I see that none of you are playing part of a Gene Steeler Ravening Horde. So do you, do you have any insight for Dave as to why that illustration might be on the screen? Um, how do we put this? <laughs> uh, Kevin is a diabolical man. And uh... I, I came late, so I'm not doing this. <laughs> I, I arrived in progress. We came to the... Uh... Oh, man. Let's see. Do I have these notes? Still? Here, I, you know what? I've got a name on a handout for you. Yeah, we came to the monastery at uh, Festium's Rest because uh, we were asked to take ownership for uh, a certain rogue trader, a thigh bone of the honorary Hephaestium. And so we, we re reluctantly decided to uh, come here and do this for my cousin. And uh, do we you arrived. Remember, do you remember what peculiar things you learned about Hephaestium's rest before coming here? Um, I don't remember. Like, no. I sort of, nobody, uh, they create some, uh, uh, holy products which help psychers 
Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, focused, but uh, nobody visits there. It's you know, it's an isolated place with, uh, and only one ship would ever visit. Yeah, that was uh, the legendary Captain Coronia, and his ship, the Nagelfar. I'm certain that uh, it will sail the skies of the Cronus Expanse for years and years to come. Although I don't remember what happened two sessions ago. What did happen two sessions ago? Uh, well, we arrived yep. and we saw a strange light in like the observatory. Uh, in the solarium, which is actually what? different solarium. from the observatory. Yeah. Sorry. I always think it's the observatory. Yeah. The solarium. And, you know, we were a little bit, you know, taken aback. Like this seems strange. So we headed off carefully, but we were, as soon as we left the ship, it was destroyed. Um blown up captain Coronia, we, we hardly knew ye yeah we felt a little bad and also perturbed because now we have to find some kind of way to get off this planet did you mention that all the monks on hephaestium's rest have taken a vow of silence <laughs> no i did not mention that yet <laughs> and so that was a bad start and then we ran into some i don't know what are they the, whatever these guys are the cloners uh there the were monks evil yes monks yes these guys the hybrid xenos and yeah. oh, uh, they yeah, attacked the us ruthlessly these guys there they are with their yeah their extra arms their big feet they were yep. disgusting and vicious so we we managed to fight them off barely and uh is that when the medic showed up yes after that yeah. fight yes yep <laughs> right the medic uh, arrives your characters thankfully. the supporting Powerful. characters have been um additions by necessity <laughs> like, we got really fucked up in that first fight we should really have a medic and then sean yeah, was yeah. able to make it to the next fight and then boy this is really getting tough and we're up close so dave now you're playing an eldar <laughs> yeah and so then we realize we're in big trouble. We have to get off this planet somehow. And we figured, well, since we're here, you know, maybe we should still go find this thigh bone if we can, because, you know, maybe it's important. So we went to the chapel or whatever, the central place, and there was a bunch of them there. And we had another gunfight with them in the chapel. And... Yep. We managed to survive that one. We got some grenades and such supplies from them. However, after that, we found a whole bunch more of them coming our way and uh, we decided to try and lay a bit of a grenade trap for them. And things went a little sideways. And uh, that's where we are right now in the middle of, right? In the middle of this mm -hmm. conflict with the grenade. Now I know Dave, you've read a fair amount of the Space Marine books. Um, what do you know about gene stealers and in particular their relationship with Tyranids? Oh, you might be muted too, Dave. Might have come out. Can you hear me now? Can yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. my cord might have come out of my phone. Um, not a lot about tyrannids necessarily. Um, I know there was some gene stealing going on in some of the 40k books from like down uh, stories. Okay. Um, so let me give you a, nu a nutshell explanation of the threat that these things represent, just so you understand. The gene stealers are one of the many, many kind of um, specific type of Xenos that uh, are related to the vast Tyranid swarms that uh, cut a swath across the galaxy. The gene stealers will infiltrate a uh, civilization in part using their uh, stealthy techniques, and it's part using, um, you know, uh, something that would be at home in a Ridley Scott or James Cameron film, um, in part um, by genetically changing, and in part by using powerful psychic uh, abilities. Once they create a cult, 
around it, they build up power until they reach a point where they are able to effectively create a psychic beacon. Once that beacon is lit, it draws Tyranid swarms towards a planet. And if Tyranid swarm, you can think of as kind of like a planet-sized biomass that will come land on a world, scrape it of every possible bit of usable biological or important chemical content, and then launch itself into space, chasing down the next beacon. Uh, it is known by some psychers as the shadow in the warp. The Acronis Expanse itself is, while bedeviled by many of the uh, threats common to the uh, 40k universe, has mercifully been spared any Tyranid swarm. They are not familiar with any swarm coming into this region, at least not yet. If a gene stealer cult is able to set itself up and spread sufficiently, that may bring a world ending threat to this region uh, that is already not particularly blessed with a lot of imperial military forces or other for that matter. So the threat that you face here in theory could be uh, something as wide as the entire expanse. Oh. Yeah. But I'm sure it'll okay. be fine. No. So, so no real stakes involved in this and not at all. Things are going really well as I cruise on in in casual mode is what you're saying. You got to love uh, that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 40k right. takes uh, uh, inspiration from something and then immediately says, "How can we make this worse?" Yeah, we, <laughs> so, we make this 10 times more difficult or exactly. dangerous. All right, so the first thing we do in the game, we talked about this before we went live. Uh, this is Dave's first time playing um, Wrath and Glory. And then the, the, this is an, but Dave, it's a relatively new game for all of us. I've run, this is my fourth session running this in total. Uh, Jeff and uh, James, first se fourth session playing it in total. And I think, Sean, this is your second. So we're all learning here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes, so Dave, I... Dave, I think we're within six or seven more sessions. We sh should have it more or less sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys were humming last time. Uh, you guys really uh, tossing mm -hmm. grenades back and setting mm -hmm. traps. Great. You locking people down with psychic powers. It's madness. Yeah. I That's mean, like... we were we were doing okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I know how to click on the attack roll with my blade, <laughs> so I'm I'm set. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with uh, what we do at the start of each session, Dave, is we set objectives for the session. And if you meet these objectives, if it happens in session, you get a, a wrath point. So let's start because I've got my it's my first one on the in the list of the, the uh, sections. Uh, James, would you kindly give us a D6 roll? I remember you can there, you can roll dice directly from your character sheet if that's quicker than typing things in uh, for anyone who's got uh, is seeing lag with their roll 20. Uh, yeah. We rolled a d66? Is no, just right? a d6. Oh, I will do the same thing. Unless oh, yeah, okay, I so. listened to my session or to the last session earlier on today too, at least the last part of it too. <laughs> I, I will continue referring to the 66 as root 66 because there was never any mistake on which one you were supposed to roll then. Okay, so, um, well, not yet, guys. We're gonna do one at a time. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so, Desura, a five. Ooh, so here, this is gonna be an interesting one. Your objective for today, dismiss the potential extent of psychic powers as being rumor or propaganda. So you are looking to dismiss the potential extent of psychic powers as being rumor or propaganda. Uh, what is this called again, Kevin? What's this the is this? the goal. The goal. Yeah. Um, Rogue Trader, would you give us a, a uh, James or James? Uh, call it by your name, ja Equare. <laughs> Ignatius. Fact you totem. Four. Compare your current environment to a strange world beyond the frontier that you have visited. So if you compare your current environment to a strange world beyond the frontier you visited, you will get a point of uh, wrath. 
next up, let's see here. Oh, I have, oh, I, I skipped past the Militarum. Uh, doctor, would you kindly give us a D6 roll? Nice. Make a tactically sound plan to achieve an objective. That's almost a cruel thing to suggest in a role-playing game. <laughs> like, Seriously. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, Dave, would you give us a D6 roll? Six. Archon, you need to apply your superior intellect and sensitivity to prophecy to carry out a perfect plan. So if you apply your superior intellect and sensitivity to prophecy to carry out a perfect plan, you will get a wrath point. There's no penalty if you don't do these things in session two. There's just the incentive to try and snag that little extra bit, if you can. So, so apply superior intellect and sensitivity to prophecy? Yeah, to carry out a perfect plan. Um, you can feel free to interpret that however you, you feel. Um, and then if I miss you uh, achieving that, feel free to point it out to me. It is Friday, kicking off a long weekend, and I am not that sharp. I spent so much time dreaming up how to, you know, make the best use of gene stealers. <laughs> All right, uh, then, guys, let's head on over to the battle mat. I think... Oh, you know what? I might not have given vision to our Eldar companion. Let me make sure that I, I did. Can you see? Oh, let me shift ping for you guys here. There we go. Okay. Archon, can you see? I'm recalculating splines right now. So oh, okay, got it. Yep. But yes, I can see. Okay. So what, um, one thing we, uh, you guys should all have control over the little uh, Aquila, just for, as a reminder, that is what we're using to keep track of your glory pool. So if someone, if you generate glory, just you go ahead and add it to the yellow um, circle, or if you make use of the glory, take a, the yellow circle. Um, so last, th oh, first thing we need to do, we talked about is, uh, let's see if our stalwart Psyker has uh, maintained uh, their power. And let me just uh, do something else here. Okay. Uh, so this will be a... It was a willpower check, right? Against a... Do you remember how much damage you took last time? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. Oh, so no. Let's assume it's two, so it'll be a DN4... Uh, check, and I think it is willpower. Let's see if you've maintained concentration on your psychic whammy. Yeah, it's a, an immediate willpower test. Uh, so a DN four. Ah, uh, not sure if that rolled or not. Let's. Let's see here. I have not seen yeah, it yet, but that does not mean it's not like coming. so long that. Okay. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. It is fine. Sense of uh, Another drama. Half hour. Or it should do something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we were using. I've got one of them on there, but I think I accidentally can added them. Try again. Boy, oh, it, it probably would have gone through. So it's just uh, a matter of uh, it showing up. Friday night on roll twenty. There's yeah. no one playing today. <laughs> yeah, really. It's sort of a long weekend too for a lot of folks. So okay. Well, maybe if you try, maybe it will. Oh, sure. Let me uh, happen. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Uh, Dasura. There we go. Oh, they've got candy machines here. 
There you go, it just showed up. And look at that result. Hot damn. So the two things you get from your first roll, one, you've maintained focus on your power. You're not gonna be able to shift that exalted to icon, but uh, it did show up on your wrath dice both times, which cool. means uh, for the first roll, uh, we're gonna take the first one as always. Um, go ahead and add one glory to the pool. One glory, good cool. start. Hell yeah. Good start, yeah. And you know what, in case you guys are, let me, maybe I did this last time. I wanna make sure that the, so just, there we go. I've given the uh, the glory thing, or the um, Aquila vision as well. Uh, so, I mean, actually that probably takes away from the immersion, hold on. Let me, let me rob it of vision once again, because you can still see the token. There we go. The uh, situ situational awareness gods give and they take away. All right, uh, so then, um, bum, 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 bum. we have had all of our heroes uh, suck up one grenade hit thus far. Uh, Desura, in spite of that uh, um, frag grenade going off, manages to still maintain focus on the power. And Desura, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think, Oh boy, something is stirring. And would you, actually let me make a roll first here. I need more dice guys. I don't mean to have that uh, sound as a uh, sinister, that's just, but that's I need to roll. That's pure GM trash talk right there. That's what so that is. So many dice for this particular dice pool that I'm gonna need to not only get more dice, but I'm gonna need to use both hands. Pure trash talk. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Then, 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 then. These, these. All right. And, oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Anna, I need some help here. Can you uh, help me lift all of these? There we go. And... There we go. All right. Someone add one to the wrath pool. I just can't. Oh, okay. If someone was just oh, add yeah, to the. Oh, any of the guys, they can just do it. Oh, one, two. Oh. Mm. Five, six. Well, I can do it. All right. Uh, right. So, yeah. All right, so what you feel, uh, Desura, is, there we go. Yes. Would you kindly give us another willpower Check, please. Something is trying to burrow its way into your mind. Uh, you need to beat uh, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Th you need to beat a thirteen. Uh, yeah, if you could roll for me, please. Oh, uh, sure. It's just not going to happen. Okay. It's soon enough. Let's see here, Desura. I'm stuck in. Huge commands, which are going to take a few minutes to work their way through. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, go. Uh, so that is three. What you feel, Desura, is it feels. And this is, it's, it's difficult to put into into words, you know, the way that the powers of the warp manifest on uh, individuals. But one way that you may describe it to others is imagine yourself sitting in a, uh, 
an empty room in a chair with completely unadorned with no noise and then suddenly finding it packed with murmuring xenos and hearing something issue a question or an uh, interrogatory to you uh, that you are compelled to answer. And what it says is, who are you? And you can feel that this thing uh, and so here's the thing. Um, yeah. Uh, there's actually an extra consequence. So you do unfortunately need to answer that honestly and you take two shock as well. So it has asked a sort of, who are you? How's a, uh, um, Desura, Psyker of the Imperium. I guess that's the shortest thing. Okay. Well, I do have a fair bit of potency. What are you doing here? And again, you hear the murmuring of a room full of, uh, things. You take another two points of shock. I'll, I'll adjust your token for you, James. If you want. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, please. Oh, my thing stopped working completely. Okay. Um, we are here for the thigh bone of Hephaestion. Hephaestus. Who are you with? One point of shock damage. Yeah, my comrades. The uh, the back totem, the doctor. And do I know of the? Uh, Don't know of Archon yet. No, no. So with my friends, the back totem and the doctor. Okay. So Archon, what has happened uh, in? your experience is that there was first you've been sneaking around on here um hoping to see what uh to you know there, there's no kind of better place uh, in your mind to have a quiet word with the agent of uh, house aquare uh, than in a silent monastery so however you have found that this things have gone bad to worse to even worse you were mercifully not caught up in Desura's uh, psychic wave but you can feel the the presence of it almost like standing near a, a power transformer and you have also felt a second wave of psychic power from deeper within here um, that is all that uh, it is doing to you, Desura, which means I've taken my turn, which means uh, I think everyone other than Archon has acted this turn then. So Archon, what would you like to do? You have a speed of eight, by the way. And uh, I believe, I wanna speak out of turn here. I think you can move freely in addition to your, yeah, you can move um, and take an action, sometimes called a combat action and a simple action and a reflexive action. So, Archon, what would you like to do? Oh, Dave, you are muted again. Sorry. Let me just reset my... Uh, oh, got you plug. again. Yeah, I had to unplug my headset because it's not quite connecting properly all the time. Mm, uh, it sounds uh, crystal clear right now. Okay. So okay. What, what would you like to do? I'm assuming you've kind of been sneaking your way along following the allies. You hear this fucking explosion go off. What happens yeah. next? And so have they been in combat with anyone or was they just setting the trap? 
Uh, they have been. Uh, the, well, and what you've seen most recently is there was one of uh, these things. Actually, let's get some dice rolling for you, too. Yay! Why don't you give us a... Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what this GM screen has on it, guys? Holy smokes. Skill list? Uh, Full list of skills. It's amazing. No. How is that even possible? Would you give us a scholar check there, Archon? Please. Okay. You're quite a clever lad. I think we're looking for a DN of two here. Okay, so then that's the roll dice, not the assist dice. Okay, cool. Is it going to ask me for my DN? I don't think so. No, no, we just compare. All right, so right okay. now that's not a success. That's not a success. You're not quite clear what the hell this thing is, but you did roll. <laughs> Wait, you got an exalted icon? No, you didn't. You got a because uh, it doesn't have the the wheel around it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to roll with that. Archon is as confused as Dave, and he's going to um move to a better position he feels exposed in the middle of the room here okay uh so maybe just if, uh, i'm not sure how scrolled out if you're at about a 75 on the screen you should be able to see what's uh further down the corridor there to the south yeah yeah because there is this here is hostile that's what uh the illustration oh. that I, yeah 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 so um maybe he would have you know hey i'm gonna join the group by taking their enemy on as my enemy okay and uh go back to where i was standing next to the aquila and i believe you can split your movement up as well you're not um yeah you may take any action at any point during the standard move unless it says otherwise so like if you wanted to shoot and then race in and void saber this thing or do you know whatever else you had in mind uh you're certainly free to do that Okay. Um, the range of your um, shuriken pistol is a six. Six. That's just out of range. Uh, well, all it means is just that you're not going to get the plus one. Uh, if you're but in I short range, you get plus one. And then, oh, you've got, hold on. There's one other trait. Uh, one of the ways that it differs uh, or makes a difference between the different uh, weapons and such in this game is it gives uh, weapon traits. I mean, there's a lot of games we play that do something similar. And yeah. I think it's got one called, um, oh, what is it? Eldari Shield Generators. Um, splinter Weapons. Here we go, Shuriken Weapons. Hell yeah. All right, Shuriken Pistola has rending three, and I think that means it does plus three damage when you are at uh, short range. So in addition to the plus one to hit, you would also get plus three damage. Okay. Um, so I could move right into melee range from where I was standing. No, I, I stand corrected. Rending means uh, plus three armor piercing when you shift. Ooh. Yeah. So I could, from where I was, I could move into melee range, but shoot while I'm moving. Yep. Pistols can be used in melee as well. So you could certainly do both. I think he'd want to shoot and then have the, his blade up. <laughs> okay. So then Ignatius and Doctor, you're going to hear this. <laughs> a shuriken pistol, because uh, I think Jeff, you'd be the only one maybe not familiar with it other than Dave, possibly. Shuriken pistol is exactly what it sounds like. Mm. It is perhaps the most 80s of uh, RPG <laughs> weapons. <laughs> it's a ninja star pistol. No, I stand corrected. The Shuriken Cannon is the most 80s of things. I want a gun yeah, yeah. that shoots ninja stars. All right. Yeah. You can have a gun that shoots ninja stars. All right. Um, so would you go... my gun that shoots ninja stars. <laughs> exactly. Now let me grab my... I'll tell you what the difficulty is to hit the this guy as you're running in. Uh, defense is a two. So go ahead and give us your shot with your uh, shuriken pistol. Okay. And as he's running by, he's like, uh, Captain Aquari, we need to speak. <laughs> yeah. So that is, um, and you can imagine how silently and how 
like just how a- agilely this guy moves. He moves like a a, a dancer going mm-hmm. in, and it, that's a pretty common turn of phrase, but. I imagine that the Eldari can't help by be taken away with the joy of combat, and there's got to be a little bit more of an actual flourish to it. It's not just like a turn of phrase. He genuinely seems to be dancing into combat. Hmm. Um, Interesting. That is uh, a solid hit. You got three over, which means uh, you could shift. If you want to get that armor piercing from rending, you could shift that. Dave, did you remember to put one extra bonus dice because of the range? Uh, I did not put a bonus dice. So, so give would us a, that be yes, well, one, one Just go ahead and give us a 1d6 roll, or you can either from the character sheet or from uh, just typing in. Under rolls okay. is where you'll find those. And Dave, if I say a root 66 roll, just roll a d66. It's just easier to say root 66 than it is have the confusion over it. Is that a six or is it a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So just number of one dice and then hit a d6. Yeah. Let's see here. Because uh, you might get some extra. No, nothing else extra, but that's okay. So that is a... Um, well, and you can choose to shift after you roll damage. So why don't you roll damage first? Uh, okay. Yeah. So what is the exalted icon? That's the one with the... Uh wreath around it the exactly circle. exactly and that's the one that you can shift uh it means that you're losing two of the total successes that are in there but it means you get to trigger something cool you can also always shift um an exalted icon to gain um glory oh because i also got blood must flow spend an exalted icon whenever you take a successful weapon skill check to inflict a bleeding condition on your target it's also a pretty fucking awesome option. So the bleeding condition uh, is, hey, on my GM screen, they take a <laughs> mortal wound at the end of their turn. Mortal wounds go right through armor and toughness. Ooh, so it's like one extra damage per round. And as you probably yeah. noticed from your health, there's not a lot of hit points for targets in the, in this game. Yeah, so um, can I do that? Hell yeah. Or do I roll, roll my damage first? Roll your damage first. Let's see if it survives. You can give a sense of just how deadly the shuriken pistol is. Um, that's 10 damage. So, is there any extra Whoa. damage? There should be. I'm not sure I answered that correctly. Hold on. I think a shuriken. Oh, boy. Pistol always rolls one. Yeah, it has one extra dice. And I don't see that. Oh, it did roll. It did roll. Ignore me. I did do it. Kev from this afternoon did everything right. Kev is from this afternoon. I'm sorry for thinking of you poorly. So 10 points of damage. Now, here's your two options. You can make it bleed for one point of damage at the start of its turn, or you can have you can ignore three points of its toughness. In this game, it doesn't make the difference between armor and toughness unless you use optional rules, and just easier this way. So the way to give you a sense of um how this works his resilience is a six which means right now it would take four points of damage if you shift that point to make it uh to make it rending and shoot right through him uh it would instead do nine points of damage okay and what do wounds do in terms of damage points? Or? So wounds are what, it's just like a hit point, like a point of damage is a point of wound. Um, oh, there are oh. critical hits and there are wounds. A mortal wound as opposed to a wound means it goes right through your armor. I don't apply resilience to it. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> but uh, I will tell you though that... Um, Having it pierced right now and doing nine points is... It's a good Pretty call cool, because it's just fucking vaporize this guy. Yeah. Let's so do that. These, um, I should say, to the Eldar have um, one of the highest tech levels of any of the species in the 40k universe. Yeah. So, and Archon, you go racing ninja, in. That's why they use ninja star guns. Exactly. Ninja star. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. He's ninja We're Star the most guns. Ecologically advanced society in all of the 40k universe, and I have ninja stars. Exactly, one of the most uh, fearsome uh, of the Eldar things that we didn't talk about before we went on are the Harlequin, which basically they dress up like clowns or Harlequins, uh, but they have a thing that is called a uh, oh, what is it? Is it the not Eldar's kiss? What's it called? Something kiss, Harlequin's kiss. 
And it's basically, Chris, yeah. um, imagine a device that shot your body full of like nano th thin filaments and then turned your insides to goo and then retracted. <laughs> like it's just awful stuff. Awfully <laughs> awesome. All right, so you have raced in and hit that first one down and taken your position. Doctor, uh, Factotum, where did this Eldar come from? Let's find out on round two. So, <laughs> we're at the top of the round, Shoot guys, uh, which means one of you Shoot gets him. to go first unless I spend Ruin. And I'm not spending Ruin. No, why would you? Mm-mm. Is there anybody in there? You know, I don't uh, get to make that joke because we don't run as much uh, Conan 2D20 uh, on the channel <laughs> as often as I used to. <laughs> so, for another reason to uh, relish running this game again. <laughs> so, sorry, I, uh, who would like to take their action first? I would. You would? Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't see any guys, so you should go. Well, you can hear Archon is that, uh, so directly in front of you are... Um, they are burning something on a pyre here, and there is, uh, you heard an explosion, or, or one of several explosions from earlier on. It seems like these humans have uh, detonated some kind of flamer device or something like that, because there are little puddles of burning liquid in here too. You guys may remember you blew up that dude who, uh, who was uh, carrying the flamer last time. Yeah, uh, I think... Uh... Archon looks back to the others and he's like, like, come along now. You don't need to stand around. And then he'll uh, try to stealth his way forward. Okay. So why don't you give us a, or, oh, I didn't put the, one thing I, uh, I didn't add was all the rules for your different um, pieces of equipment. Let me just quickly tell you what the Camellia Line cloak does. Plus two stealth or something? Uh, plus one bonus to stealth and plus one... Oh, awesome. Plus one to defense when in shadow or cover. Your um, Void Saber also has the parry quality, which adds plus one to your defense in melee. Okay. So your defense, I think, is a three, but you treat it as four when you're in uh, melee. Uh, so why don't you give us a stealth check then? This will be your combat action. Okay. Your cloak, you guys can picture, kind of shimmers and all, you know, predator style kind of half hides him. Oh, and then so uh, before you make the roll, go to your bonus dice. Either well, one of two ways: I either add a bonus dice on the line with your skill, or do it at the uh, top under rolls. The top right. Okay. So if I just put bonus die one and then hit roll, it should calculate that. And then in. and then well, no, uh, hit the bonus die one and then hit roll for the skill. Yes. It, yeah, it, that yeah. may be what you meant, so apologies if I'm being thick, but again, Friday night, long weekend. Stealthiness, a cheat. That's awesome, five. Okay, so let me tell you what you, mm, yeah, because you got three and you could shift that into glory, but five would be the difficulty for them to, to hear you or sense you. Is that what you want? Yep. Okay, go ahead and move yourself. You got eight. You also reduce your movement rate either i'm guessing i can't move through the fire but um oh you know what hold on let me put a couple th these guys don't have dark vision let me i just did not light this properly yeah i was gonna say i can't see anything beyond this yeah 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 let me just uh, i'm gonna set some here we go here we go uh one thing i will say i really love the uh addition of um the uh, lighting uh feature in here where I can just drop down a light source. Oh. Yeah, it's awesome. That's new? Uh, it's been, I wanna say like eight months-ish that they've had it. Like it has been around for a little bit, but it's just, uh, especially if you're using dynamic lighting and you f you know either f forget or neglect to, to light up an area, mm -hmm. like there you go. Like there should be a lot, a lot more light in here because there's a giant fucking bonfire going, right? Right. But this gives you a much better idea. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, Archon, so you would have seen that. Does that affect your choice of where to sort of sneak here? Yep. And each of them are wielding human-made weapons. Does a void saber in the gut 
feel good? Uh, so your your action, remember, you only get one action per turn. Your action has been to make the stealth. And Stealthy. you could have done a multi-action, but you would take plus two to the difficulty number for each okay, of... That's fair. Okay. So he, he waved everybody in and then snuck into the room. And we'll in fairness, you goes. know, you would have heard all these guys down here too. Like I, I so... If you think that Archon would have done something different, like you're, they're only three, like, God, what is that? Three meters, four meters away. If you think he would have instead run in and tried to gut these things, we can go back and do that. Yeah, I think, well, that's what I kind of was trying to do. I like, you know, thinking of in game terms, I want to sneak in and gack somebody, but. Yep. So, so it's a race maybe in. It's not, maybe it's less sneaky, more just run in. Yeah. So you race in. All right. So then um, would you like to oh uh which of the two would you like to attack with first and since you've got the plus one bonus that works out nicely because you're in short range for your shuriken pistol i was gonna void saber oh void saber yeah so take the bonus dice away and go ahead and roll your attack with your void saber remember you can okay. attack with both and ignore the multi-attack penalty when you attack with both your um saber and your pistol you just do need to declare as a multi-action. Okay. So in this case, I'm just using the one. Okay. Void saber. Slice and dice. Oh, yeah. Defense is the same. To be two. Holy shit. Oh, but we got a complication. Hot damn. Uh -oh. Hot damn. Complications. Oh, Good hockey. I and now love it. All right. Oh, is it on the GM screen? I don't remember. I don't Tripped remember. on the fire and spreaded it around the room. It is! Give us a Route 66 roll there, Dave. Please, uh, uh -huh. that doesn't affect your success. It does mean... And you got three exalted icons on that. Holy shit. Is that the two sixes in together? Yes. Are you talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the D66 uh, at the top. It's just because we're playing online. Look at that. Perfect. 32. Weapon jam. So you hit this thing, something malfunctions about your void saber, and you will need a DN2 tech use to use it again. Well, that bites. Uh, that is okay. So first, uh, go ahead and roll your damage, and then you can make some decisions on what you're going to do with your uh, shifts. Because, oh, and the Void Saber has, wow, let's see here, 14, and it's minus 3 AP, and it also has the Brutal quality, which I think is tricky for this weapon trade. Here we go. Ooh. So we're also going to look for... Oh boy, uh, we're gonna look at what you rolled. So that's actually one extra damage. Um, brutal weapons, instead of the following the usual thing of uh, one, two, three being zero, uh, four, five being one, and six being two, they do one, two is zero, three, four is one, and five, six are two. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, so that's 15 points of damage. Wow. <laughs> So, and minus three uh, AP. So you absolutely cut this one down, but then there's a, something goes wrong with your void saber and it is whoa, malfunctioning. All right, so you still have, um, you can't remember, you can move again too, if you choose to. Uh, oh, so well, it moves there. I go one, two, three, four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Right okay. <laughs> back to where I was. <laughs> like that pyre is pretty big. If you wanted to save, hide in the alcove on the far side and leave it free for the humans to go in and not get shot by the humans. Oh, the, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That you could. I uh, can go to. The, I can get around the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So that would be one, two, three. 
waiting for my dynamic lighting to readjust. Okay. Oh. Diagonally, four. Okay, perfect. So you've taken your place there. All right. Um, would anyone like to spend a point of glory and seize the initiative? Or am I going next? <laughs> Not yet, I think. Unless someone's inspired. <laughs> no, I think we say go. Okay. Then, uh, in spite of all the crazy shit that's happened... Uh, oh, Desura, we need one more willpower check from you. Um, difficulty will be five now, just because you took some shock damage. Oh, difficulty be four. Oh, do you, if you want me to see? roll that for you, James, let me know. Uh, let me try. Okay. Let me see if I can get to it. Okay, that's... That'll be four, not I'll five. sort of reset. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, nice. Oh, but not a great roll. Would you like to spend a point of wrath? Reroll that. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say you can't do worse, but you could roll a complication. Four, there you go. Nice. And you still, in spite of this thing worming its way inside your mind, you still have maintained your, uh, your uh, telepathic field. It's um, Fog the Mind that you've got active right now, right? Yep. Yeah, great. Okay. I mean, not great for them, but let's see here. Um, mm, 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 mm. I won't be able to maintain this long, guys. <laughs> Kill them! Okay. Let's uh, make a willpower check for these guys. I'm trying. Kill two of them. And hindered, it makes them hindered two, which is I think minus two dice. Um yep. Oh plus two to, to difficulty numbers and staggered have speed can't run or sprint. Alrighty. So um Oh, you know what I'll do? I am gonna use something that is quite evil. <laughs> but it's not targeting any of you. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try that. So I'm just gonna roll these here. Uh, what you sense, uh, Desura, is one, two, three, four. All right. Uh, the fortunate thing is your decision to maintain that is ended uh, because I have denied the witch. <laughs> that uh, yeah, Xenos that was fine. Psyker out there has just dis um, dismissed your um, your psychic effect. Uh, then one of you guys gets to go. Who would like to go? What do you think, Doctor? You're in front of me there. I'm in. I can push I, past am, you. But... Let's see, my speed is six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five... I'm going to uh, head down into this doorway, okay. using it for some modicum of cover. Okay. I like where this is going. Um, stand by. Trying to get it. There we go. I am cutting off folks a little, but I'm going to try to be by this. However, I'm able to kind of sidle up to this doorway. Okay. Okay. And uh, do I? And so I see a foe here, then, right? Yep. And there is a dead body. Uh, another one's slashed by that vicious Xenos blade. Mm. The one that I don't even know who it is yet, right? And you're standing <laughs> over one. <laughs> and you know, we've talked about the um, Eldar uh, before that uh, they are 
a very unpredictable and mercurial species. At times, mm -hmm. they can be the some of the most terrible foes of man, and at others, they can be the savior. Um, they most uh, assuredly follow their own uh, interests, uh, and a not unsound strategy uh, might be to, how do they put it on old earth? Not look a good gift horse in the mouth? Yeah, I'm, I'm filing it into the base category of enemy of my enemy at this point, so it's all good. Yep. Um, and <laughs> I, uh, think I am going to... They have that uh, hanging over the Imperial Guard headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't ask too many questions if the person's firing in the correct direction. That's the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like it's a non second It's like uh, talking about uh, talking to any European uh, soccer fan about the World Cup because they don't cheer for anyone other than their own fucking team. But they have a hierarchy of like, well, I fucking hate this team, but yeah. I hate this one more, so I want this one to. <laughs> I don't want them to win, but I want them to lose. Right? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Cheering for France, you want Britain to lose, you want England to lose, you want Italy to lose, you want. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, James, a little friendly fire here for you. <laughs> All right. You take that sitting down, James? My goodness. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, I'm going to last gun. Last gun at this race scene. Up. Okay. Uh, so you will get one bonus dice because of the range. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's see. And the um, the correct... There are, there are quite a few fields in this weapons row so yes. let's see which one is the correct i think it is the if you there is uh some of them display when you hover okay which is helpful face damage okay, okay. Uh, extra nope nope uh, nope. uh you let's are see, looking nope. uh a b d is attack so if you hover over the the column bonus uh, dice gotcha there okay. you go yep yep that uh, okay so one one should be there right one should be in there, yes, for the range. Okay. And then yours is the one that does, I think, the extra damage at range because of the... Um, mm -mm -mm. And I already have one in that field, so that would make sense that that's been happening. Uh, so there will be one ED already, because that's just what your weapon does. Okay. Um, you got a last gun, right? Uh, last gun, correct. Yeah, so it should be... Uh, Seven damage with one ED, and then you have the trait Rapid Fire, which at short range, you gain an extra damage dice. There we go. Okay. So you race up, Doctor. Go ahead and make your attack whenever you feel ready. Here we go. Uh, his defense is a two, so that is a hit. Here we go. Um, do you wish to shift that for damage? Let's see. I got I got two spare. Is that correct? Uh, you have well. You've got one exalted icon to spare, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah. Gotcha. Only and... only the exalted can be shifted. Gotcha. Uh, right. Okay. You know what? I was just double checking. Yeah. So, Since wanna... I've got two extra successes, but only one exalted. Yeah, I, exactly. Uh, which, icon. So I can't remember if the exalted icon is here. We go. Damage. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You can shift any exalted icons for extra damage dice, as long as the number of icons remaining. So again, exalted icons are the only ones that can be shifted, but you can get that to get an extra damage dice if you'd like. What do you think? Uh, e e yes, let's do that. Okay. So go ahead and make sure you've got one extra dice uh, in there, as well as the ED that's listed. And um, go ahead. It's really hard not to think of it as erectile dysfunction. <laughs> so the <laughs> extra damage. Go ahead and pop the blue pill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mrs. Here. Gene Steeler is going to be, or Mr., is going to be very disappointed later. No, hang on a second. Stand by. Bonus dice. No, uh, just making sure. Yeah, it should be one bonus, bonus dice, dice, and then there should be one in the ED category. Or column, not category. So I have uh, I have uh, bonus dice for damage roll. You should it's have one in six. for bonus dice, and there should be one under the ED column. Okay, so just one in the bonus die. Okay. Yeah, just one. 
Oh, well, you were shifting one too. Sorry, I'm an idiot. You had it right. You had it right. Uh, so go ahead and roll uh, one dice. Fucking great okay. shot. Nice. So that is nine points of damage, potentially 10 or 11. Nope. Nine points of damage. Uh, you That's could also spend, was it, uh, is it glory or wrath that gets spent for extra damage? I think it's glory. Yeah, glory could be spent for one die uh, to the damage. Um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, the, the uh, sorry, that is six. Um, all right, so you Zorch him. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Nice. Would you like to spend any glory to try and top that up? There's well, we two. got one, right? Oh, um, yeah, only one. I better leave it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, then it is uh, my turn to go unless someone is seizing the initiative with that glory. I don't think it makes sense. Desora or... No, okay. So then it is... Uh, I think you hear a terrible, horrible, awful snarl from somewhere in the back. And what oh, comes back. racing through is one of those more uh, advanced hybrids. That's fine. Ignatius and Desura have that. They've yep. got that handled. Here we go. Yeah, the Acolyte Hybrid. His speed is a whopping six. That's not very fast, actually. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six. You are unfortunately the lucky recipient here, Doctor. Doctor, what is your defense? My defense is three. Three, okay. Uh, so, I need... See. I'm going to double check one thing. I think the skills listed here include the stat bonuses. Um, I'm just going to double check. Here we go. Skills. Du -du 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 -du. Total dice pools. I thought so. I love that they made that change. Okay. Then here we go. Doctor, this thing races in, and ooh, I could all out attack on you, get an extra bonus. What do you think? That sounds good. It sounds sounds like trouble. <laughs> it's, it's not good. No. Um, mm, mm, mm. I thought I had a modifier on my sheet. That's complications. Ooh, I should have printed off my, uh, what do you call it? So he's not going to make an uh, auto attack because I don't want to look it up right now. <laughs> so here we go. Up against a three. Here we go. Uh, oh, I needed to make, oh, no, that's, that thing's down. One, two. Ooh, so I got my three and I got two exalted icons I can shift. And we're going to do that. So you are taking... Uh, oh, my. Oh, terrible roll, though. <clears throat> that is 13 points of damage. What is your resilience? Eight. Eight. So then you are taking five points of damage, but be sure to first roll your determination. Let's see if you can shift some of that into shock. Each success you get on this, you will be able to transition that damage into shock. It's two, uh, and you could spend wrath to re-roll. What do you think? Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Uh, uh, you're looking for a four or higher. Each success mm. you get. Right now, you're taking two points of shock and three points of uh, health or wound damage. And, I, and I'm rolling three dice on this determination situation, right? Yep. That'd be pretty tough. But you I've don't only you got... re-rolled one, right? 
I, yeah, you'd only get a reroll on a one, so you're looking at a potential f uh, f three or four as your total best outcome. Uh, and that costs the glory. Here's the other thing you can do. Uh, that costs, no, no, a wrath uh, to reroll. Oh, wrath. But uh -huh. we can also spend uh, wrath to do is to regain. I think it's for your tier. It's five glo uh, five um, wounds. Uh, shock. So this is one of the reasons where, like, you no, know, the wounds unfortunately are that. That is your job, Doctor. <laughs> you are responsible for that. <laughs> shock is a little easier. So what do you think? You want to reroll? I uh, will wait. Nope. Okay, so nope. you take two uh, two points of shock damage, the blue bar, and three points of wound damage. And there we go. Ooh. One of these others is going to come racing forward too, because I'm just doing them one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, four, six. It's racing forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, then one of you gets to go. Who'd like to go? I'm the only Doctor one Yells, could use some help down here. Yeah. <laughs> no, Desur hasn't gone yet either. Oh, Desur hasn't gone yet either. Okay, so yeah. uh, you should go first. Uh, okay. Oh, and I'm as a reminder, Jeff, remember yeah. that you can, um, when you are firing against someone that has cover, uh, they will uh, add to the difficulty of what you're trying to shoot at. But with your plasma pistol, it is sometimes more effective to try and shoot through it. Right. Right. Just as you take, you don't take the penalty. It just means that they may be able to defend against some of the damage. And yeah. you can. And sorry, what is the run rule in this game? Uh, so you could spend. Uh, you mean like um, to move beyond your speed? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. Uh, I don't know if it's called dash, but I believe they're. Here we go. Uh, running. You move double your speed. When you yeah. run, you can't perform a simple action on your turn. Oh, okay. So, but, so you still could do a combat action. You just can't do a simple action. Right. So, okay. Because I could. Because otherwise, I'm stuck here, not making it into the room. Yeah. I'll move to the corner. I think like that. Yep. And then you make sure uh, you're aware of the uh, moving through a square. Rule. Yeah. Attack of. <clears throat> oh, that's interaction when say, attacks. When you say shooting through cover, Kev, are you talking like? standing in that hallway and blasting through the wall yeah yeah it's pretty fucking cool like the way the rules work is it gives i think it's plus two to the difficulty number if you're trying to hit the target and not go through the thing but if you just shoot at them you don't take that penalty and they just get the benefit of that as armor so you kind of judge what they're behind wow okay. yeah for certain not every weapon it has it but like your void saber would be a, a great one to use that on because it's got a great uh when it's functioning it has a great uh armor piercing feature and ditto yeah. for the plasma gun that uh, uh captain Aqu or a factotum aquari has uh so sorry jeff you ran in and then what would you like to do um well okay you were saying i was getting attacked by that guy possibly. no no I'm, I'm just double checking to see i thought that there was because okay. I, I reread the combat rules uh, this afternoon. I will, well, I'll fire my pistol at him anyway. If you are engaged with an enemy uh, and they choose to move out of engagement, you may use your reflective action to make a melee act attack against them. So you would know that moving past there. You're going to take an attack of opportunity. Yeah, they'd get an attack of opportunity. It's a reflexive attack. Okay. So do you want to try and like you can kind of position yourself if you were to the top right of where the doctor is you could fire through his square if you'd like. I think you have two weapons out too don't you have like a power sword and a yeah I have a I do I have a power sword and a, a pistol. Plasma oh pistol. you're saying I could have shot from here. Yeah like if you what, uh, what I'm saying is that you could avoid the attack of opportunity if you would position yourself like right here. I mean, you're kind of, oh. yeah. Oh, because from there, I don't see anything. Yeah. Well, I think, in the wall. Yeah, you're in the wall. You're in the position you, like, oh. there you go. But even even there, you could shoot through this wall. Right. Ignoring, ignoring well, yeah. Uh, Hephaestium's rest is on uh, on a, like, a barren and lifeless moon. So you don't want to necessarily shoot. When you are shooting through walls, you want to be careful which ones you're shooting through. <laughs> Uh, there. But from here, I don't. I wouldn't even get that guy cover because you've got enough uh, of an angle to get, I think, on him if you wish to use your range attack. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I do. Yeah, okay, okay. sure. 
They're... I can see hey, half of them. Pew, pew, pew. Doctor, what kind of um, complication do you think could happen there? <laughs> <laughs> oh! You know what kind? No kind! Because he got a uh, exalted icon on the Wrath <laughs> dice. See how that little exploding dice shows up there, Jeff? Yep. Yeah. You can oh, add, yeah, yeah. Add one to the glory. Nice. And um, go ahead oh, and roll damage. Swing. You're not, okay. not going to be able to shift anything, unfortunately. That's okay. I'm building us a little glory here. We need it. Yep. Okay, cool. damage. Uh, pistol damage. Oh, okay. 15. <laughs> All right, minus three AP is four. So, Jeff, why don't you tell us what it looks like as the doctor gets savaged by this thing and then you vaporize it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just, you know... He's happy to have someone to stand behind, and I think it's given him a little bit of confidence in this battle. And so, you know, he's a bit of an aquare. Eh? Yeah. Know, he, now that he's got someone in front of him, he feels good. Sort of just leans his pistol out over the doctor's shoulder and fires. <laughs> don't, don't don't put that on Quinelli. <laughs> that's, that's, Ignat that's, that's Ignatius right there. That's a lot that Sean's going to have to reflect on. <laughs> seeing his character in new eyes. That's Ignatius. Come on. Oh, All right. sorry. So sorry. Ignatius, you race forward and boom. <laughs> This uh, plasma pistol, uh, you know, unloads, and just Doctor, I think even through your armor, you can feel the heat as it passes. But then this yeah. thing is just vaporized in front of you. Your captain is protecting you. Then it is my turn, unless one of you guys want to spend. Unless Desura, you wish to spend glory to go before me. What do you think? Glory. I, I've saved nope. my no, no. No. my uh, hordes. For the very end, in the event you wish to reestablish your mm. psychic power. Uh, no, no, I, I can't. Anyway, uh, oh, okay. okay. At this point, so that you want me to go? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I have phrased that in a very unfortunate way. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, now let's check about readying actions in this game because I think some of our guys are going to fall back and some of our guys are going to open fire and some are going to call in reinforcements uh okay 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 let us they kind of shake their heads they're finally free of it um they shout something uh at one another that seems to be just gibbering and let's position some of these guys ready to fire here you say they're gibberlings uh oh no, <laughs> uh, these will make gibberlings look like uh... flee, flee. Okay. Oh, actually, this guy can see uh, Archon, so let's do this. Um, he can see me over the flames. This guy's going to move into front of this table here. Uh, all right, so let's show Dave how cool grenades are in this game. Queen <laughs> and. Here we go. Their ballistic skill is... Maybe he drops it and it blows up three of them. That yeah. is what can happen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mental note. Be Com careful with grenades. <laughs> Complications cut both ways. So I can uh, fail them as well. All right. Um... Ballistic skill, ballistic skill. Oh, not great. Okay, here we go. Uh, for the area effect weapon, I need to make uh, DN3 roll. So here we go. I... One, two... Oh! I failed, which means it is going to deviate. Uh-oh. Where is it going to deviate? Is that on my GM screen? It isn't. Oh, scattering. Here we go. Uh, so, he tosses it and it kind of falls in the corner here. Uh, then it will explode. And here's what you guys get to do. Um, those of you caught in the blast range of this, 
The Rangers are six, so it'll be uh, Doctor and Archon. You would both be caught by this. Uh, this is a busy corner do? right here. I say to over my shoulder to Ignatius. This is a busy corner right here, Ignatius. <laughs> Okay, so what you can attempt is the full defense action. Uh, you can affect it as a reflexive action. If you do, you can't perform movement, combat, or simple actions during your next turn. So either you take the damage from it or you can make a full defense action. You then roll your resilience. Wait, no. So like you roll your confident. initiative. Uh, roll your initiative, and then you add that to your resilience for the turn. Mm. So you, if you you, uh, you can just take the hit and see how much damage it does, uh, or uh, you can and uh, it's ten is the base damage for the uh, for the damage, uh, or what you can do is. Um, uh, you can make a basically give up your next turn to take a to full defense, die for cover, roll your initiative, and add that to your resilience. So I think you said, uh, Doctor, you've got an eight resilience. Archon, what is your resilience? Seven. Okay, so you guys are talking taking three damage and two damage from this right now. What do you think? Do you take it or do you give up next round to try and reduce that even further? Every initiative, every uh, icon you get on the initiative check would reduce damage by one more. I'm gonna dive. Dive, okay. So give us an initiative uh, initiative check. It's a stat so in this game, Dave, by the way. Okay. And uh, are you choosing to do the same thing? No, I'm gonna take the damage take and the return damage? fire. Okay, so then, Dave, would you kindly roll your um, determination, please? Determination. And the return fire only is in, uh, or counterattack is only in melee. Where do you, how do you roll determination, determination? Where is it, guys? Is it the top right? I got uh, top right under combat tab. Combat tab, oh, oh, top right. Okay, under the rolls? Uh, rolls, yeah. Yeah, the and right. then Doctor, nice Doctor. So you dive, uh, you take no damage, and there we go. I think you can. Mm. Let's see. I'm trying to find a dive for cover. Um. I thought it's, it's, I, I seem to think you guys could move one meter when you did that. Looks um, like you're diving. Yeah, so uh, you can move yourself one meter uh, if you like, Doctor, away from the blast. And uh, Archon, uh, well, that's, you got two successes. Oh, awesome. So the, what that means is you the two. You take three points of damage, two of it will be to your blue bar, your shock, and one to oh. your wounds. Now remember, you can spend a point of wrath to get that um, back. Let me remind myself how you guys get wrath as well too, because I feel like I'm not giving you any. I was just looking at that. Um, page 164, I think. Okay, let's take a quick, Ish. quick gander here. One, six, four. Uh, you know, gaining uh, wrath points. You yeah. start with two. They can award whenever they feel it's appropriate. Um, oh, okay, this is the fucking Benny's thing all over again. Uh, why don't you guys give yourself another two points of wrath? Uh, we'll do it every hour okay. uh, for it. Yeah, just because that'll... I think Wrath, it, like um, Benny's, is going to be one of those things they expect you to have a steady flow of. Oh, that's wrath green, is on the that's uh, green, right? Green bar, yeah. correct. Yeah. yeah. Or it's okay. attributes tab, top right. Attributes, top right. Um, oh, there's also on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the yeah. tokens linked back to the character sheets. Oh, uh, nice. Archon, would yeah. you like to? You could spend a uh, wrath and re-roll that determination. You, you only need one more to make all that damage go to your shock instead of wounds. The reason that's important is because again, shock. You spend a uh, one wrath and get five glory, five shock back. Okay. So re-roll the determination sounds like a good yeah, idea. Yeah, just click on. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. Yeah, 
that's awesome. Rank plus tier. Oh, it's uh, restoring three, not not uh, not five. Uh, and your re-roll. Oh, it. Not done yet. So if you just click on the blue button there, Archon. We did learn oh, last oh. time that uh, when you click on, if you have a set, another roll come up, uh, you can't uh, re-roll once or something else. But Archon, you're good to go. Damn it. Okay. So you do take, uh, it's as you've, you've done it thus far. Error. Can't re-roll old rolls. Please use the current oh. results. Yeah, nice try, Dave. <laughs> well, no, it, I had clicked it on my sheet, and then you're telling me to hit the blue button. Oh, sorry, like, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Here, watch you do this. <laughs> sure. That, that one. On the sheet, you got, yeah, re-roll on that one because you, you got the identical result. So just click on re-roll. Just see what happens. Because it will work now with that one. And there's your extra. So there you go. It's uh, take one more point of shock damage and restore one wound. All right, so that was one tossing a grenade in. Then I'm gonna try and shoot you, Archon, but I am gonna give you a cover. Uh, so my difficulty is going to be a, you got three, it's a five I need to hit you. Let's see. Um, ballistic skill is not great. Let's see here. Uh, nope, and I got a complication. <laughs> um, so let's see here. D66. Uh, I'm not going to roll this for all of them, but this one, because they're all clustered together, let's see if something funny happens. Um, out of ammo. So he fires at you, but then is out of ammo, so he's going to have to spend a round reloading. He's going to fall back to start doing that. And... He'll go over there. We're also going to use the mob rules. The first batch that you guys are fighting here, are I'm going to deal with individually. Then we're going to treat the rest of the mobs as mob, which means um, every uh, exalted icon you shift, you can hit an extra target. It might okay. be only icon. Hold on, I've said that out loud. Let me just tell you, just so you know, because we might as well give you that uh, stormtrooper effect today too. Do I have on my character the same stuff that it would have in, as a starting character equipment? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yep. Um, Including the three grenades? Yes, you've got, th what, three plasma grenades, I think? Uh, oh, I didn't put them on the sheet. Yeah, you do have your plasma grenades. Yeah, I just put my void suit and three plasma grenades. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that one's fired. That one's thrown a grenade. That one, I got one more to shoot at you, Dave, and then I'll be done. I think you should shoot the guy in front of him first. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Oh, so close. Uh, did not get you because of the cover. And then he will fall back. And that one that threw the grenade I can put right there. Um, and I'll get my mobs ready to go here. Let's go, mobs. Uh, then it is Desura. Your turn, what would you like to do? I guess I'll use my one bit of wrath to get some um, shock back. Cause, uh, um, you should have three wrath, remember, because we gave two points. Oh, right, sorry, so yeah. that's three. So I'll use one of that to get... Two. Oh. Three shock back, okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Uh, I'm going to move the uh, Aquila down, uh, but you guys can feel free to move it if you want to move into their Desura. Seven. And then I should have... And then I'll move you up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Down. Is that going to move? Okay. I mean, it might be moving. <laughs> I am confident. Um, any action? No. What would you like to do? I just got to see what, what you're doing first. So I moved six and then... I guess I need to... She could move six more if, uh, if you don't want to take a simple action. Um, yeah, because I'm just trying to... Because she'll need to see where the... 
everything else is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll try and move all the way down for the moment, and that's it. Okay. So, if I can. Sure. And then, yeah. just so we... Yeah, if you could move me behind uh, the doctor. Behind the doctor, you got and... it. Always behind the doctor. Thank you. I don't know about this. that update for you? Uh, it will in a while. <laughs> okay. If you can see it, then I'll see it in due course. Okay. Um, and, and I'll change my... Um... Okay, here we go. I can change it here. Cool. Thank you. All right. Um, and I'll be ready to... Yeah, so hold action. Here do we go. all the stuff next round. Uh, announce you're holding your combat action instead of taking your turn. You may announce you're using your held combat action at any point later in the round. Uh, if you wish to interrupt someone else, it's an opposed initiative check. If you don't use your combat action, by the end of the round, it is lost. So um, there's no one else left okay, to I'll do action. That. But do you have any action you wish to do? Okay. Um, well, I can't see anybody else. No. Any. Um, so I'm not going to do anything. I'll okay. Yeah, you've heard that other explosion. I okay. All have right. Have a better feel. Then uh, it is the end of the round, guys. Uh, why don't we take our mid session break now? It's already fucking nine o'clock. My God. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> why don't we take our mid session break right now? Then we'll come back and see if you guys can't chew through. And a reminder, Dave, you get that bonus of plus one to range attacks and melee attacks when you seize the initiative. Yeah. So if you so um, going first, it doesn't help. No. So if I someone else be. goes and then you seize the initiative, but also it can happen later in the round too. So like if uh, say someone else goes, then I go with somebody and then someone else goes, you can then seize the initiative and still get that bonus. You don't need to do it at the start. It just, it needs to be when you jump in, when it's my turn otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So for those listening at home, we'll be back in about five minutes.
Okay. Let's see. I think, I think, I think, I think. While we're waiting for our players to get back, I'm going to look up the mob rules and maybe use those because this game has a really neat mob rules and I'll bet you it will speed things up with my host of uh, um, gene stealers. All right, so a single attack for the mob as though they were an individual threat plus one for each troop in the mob. That works. Yep. Yep, yep. We got a plan. We got a plan. A terrible, evil, malicious plan. And maybe I should move these chuckleheads forward then. And, uh, yeah. We'll get to that. Outstanding. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, everyone at home is having a great start to their weekend. And if it is a long weekend, happy long weekend to you. This is a... Hey, James is back. Hey, Sean is back. I've been talking to myself and the folks at home. <laughs> I have to say, the mob rules in honor and intrigue are most entertaining. I was just saying to the folks at home, I'm going to use mob rules for the um, uh, for the NPCs after this, uh, for the next round, because I just I, I've been rolling them individually. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, you guys are these are no, no one of these things is a threat to you, and no one of them is going to probably hit you. But we'll treat them as that. Uh, how was the uh, first session? Yeah, I, I got your message, and you said it was it went well. Oh, we just oh, we just had a charge in session so we're just talking and nattering and all the rest of it but nice. uh, we were just talking about the system because the, the other guys had played uh you know barbarians of lemuria oh cool but there's okay. quite a lot of changes i think with honor and intrigue mm. and the, a, a lot of it's very thematically cool so um, is it the same designer as, as barbarians two weeks yeah i think so oh that's cool um sean will know yeah because yeah. he's met him oh cool yeah, he so he has a game Good. called uh, Crimson Blades, I think, or uh, that's uh, like it, it's a um, contemporary of the first edition of Barbarians of Lemuria. Um, I've only run it once, but it's more uh, Elric than it is Conan. Uh, but it was really fucking cool. It was a really sure. fun. Uh, Robert and I played that in a pickup session on a Saturday morning. So I got to check out Arnor Intrigue. Then I didn't realize it was the same designer. That's really cool. Actually. Actually, you might, I might have been on that game as well, funnily enough. For which one, Crimson I think, Blades? With Robert. Yeah, because yeah, it I would have been a pickup it for. Rings the bell. Yeah, it might have been a pickup for. Uh, we were fighting wolves. Uh, that is something I typically do. Uh, this one had a. There was a troll involved, for sure. I, I got to use a. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Was a cool game. I, I enjoyed the. It was we we actually did care gen. Remember, uh, so having actual care gen and you know playing the game all in one session. That's always satisfying. I've got. I, I don't know where I yeah, put it. It's, huh. it's uh yeah, because the way they've got it on there while we wait for Dave, the, you know, you have a choice of not getting hit and you lose advantage and basically it's like the fencing where you're going backwards and forwards mm. so you get pushed back and pushed back and at some point you you know you yield you lose that's and cool it's just uh, it's a great mechanic to get that sort of hollywood uh errol flynn sword fighting thing that you gain advantage and lose advantage oh, cool. so that it's not all just hit and miss oh i'll have to check it out then yes yeah, so and I come very close to uh, this mass week. Mass combat's hilarious. Uh, this week, I came close to picking up a bunch of books for uh, Fallout. Uh, just because there was a lot of talk oh. about it recently, and I and I, but I was like, you know, we if I'm going to get back into a, a 2D20 game, um, I will start with uh, Act of Cthulhu because uh, that last uh, Serpents and Sands book looks really cool, uh, and oh, yeah. um, I've heard that the editing in the Fallout books is really. Um, like I've, I checked out the errata for the core rulebook for Fallout is like five pages long, mm. and that's you know oh. it's not quite to Witcher level of errata, but it's uh, mm -hmm. it's pretty close. Yeah, Dave is here actually. I, I forgot you couldn't see him. 
Uh, all right, then guys, we are at the start of round two. Uh, what I told the folks listening at home and I told James, I'm gonna use the mob rules for the uh, for these penny ante guys for the next one. The, the big, the full hybrid acolyte, uh, you'll fight them, but the other, the lesser, hybrids they're gonna be a mob which means um, when you hit them you can I was just gonna check to see if it's uh, exalted if your icons exceed the mobs defense you hit extra individuals uh, for every icon over so you don't need to have exalted icons so if you Ooh. if they have a defensive uh, two and you roll the five, you're hitting four people in the mob, and each of them takes full damage from your hit. Mm. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. So, then, I think everybody here is uh, familiar with the Fantasy Flight Star Wars stuff, so it's very much like that. Um, yep. But first up, okay, so who would like to go first from our heroes? Unless I spend Ruin, and I'm not spending Ruin. <laughs> That will never I get old to me. <laughs> <laughs> they already implemented this rule in uh, Rogue Trader just to keep it as a uh, ongoing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, which of you guys would like to go first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking the blame here? So or can they do healing or something on their turn? Because there's a bunch of so wounded people all clustered together. Doctor has to uh, lose his turn. He cannot take oh, any actions because right. he dove for cover. Good call. Good call. So do you want to do that, Doctor? Is just take like I, Archon gets a benefit, a specific benefit when he interrupts me. Sure. Yes. I'm in. Okay, so uh, the doctor is taking his turn, which is to take no actions. Uh, then it's my turn unless somebody spends. Glory. I think to spend glory to interrupt you and seize the initiative. That is completely unexpected, Dave. I'm shocked. What would you like to do? How, how do I change the glory number? Oh, uh, the icon. Yeah, click that. on it, and then when the uh, when the thing comes yellow up, the bottom up. right circle, then just hover over the yellow dot and hit one instead of two. Bingo. Okay. And ha. go ahead. So you got your move. Okay. So move. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, I'm in the doorway. Nice. I uh, can't really see. Is that a guy down over there? Ooh, I'm just waiting for your... The Probably yes. <laughs> I can't see him, but probably yeah. Like kind of directly west and a little bit up me. Up yes. One square up. Hold on. Uh, I'm waiting for. You know, I'm gonna move. There we go. There we go. Uh, yes, and there are guys directly across the room as well. You can keep moving if you like. I can see one dude kind of like just to the edge here. And it's only if you move out of engagement. By the by, you can move around people for free. Well, I'm actually just going to shoot this dude that's... Oh, wait. He might be farther range. Okay, so now do you wish to... Uh, doesn't mean that you take... Remember, the benefit of being in the six, uh, the first six squares for you is just that it's plus one to hit. You still can fire up to 18 away. So, uh, and yeah. you do need to declare whether you are taking uh, multi-actions. To be honest, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't want to multi. Oh, your fucking voice saver's not working. That would be a reason. That would be a really yeah. good reason. Uh, again, that's only a, di it's a difficulty two tech in order to get your saber working again. So that'd be an intelligence roll, um, and then you just need two successes. Okay, so maybe what I'll, I'll do, I won't shoot. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do my Void saver, but I'm basically moving around the room and trying to take stock of who's where. Yeah, yeah. And I think he'll shout out, "There's guys in this next room," and then keep moving till he gets down into the corner here. Okay. Or at least around the. Let me just—I just want to check and see one thing here, Dave. I'll see the phrasing of your talent. Um, here, dual wield. 
dual wield, one weapon in each Yeah, hand. it's a multi-attack, so it's not that uh, multi-action. Multi yeah. Multi so if you run down, yeah, if you run up there and then race back, uh, if you'd like to give us a tech roll to get your Void Saber working again, you can go but I used, But I used my thing to seize the initiative, gain an extra dice. No, no, that was just a, oh. that's spending glory. That doesn't take any action. But that, to, that was to get seize the initiative so I could get extra dice for damage. Yeah, it, but it seems, you know, uh, circumstances have changed. We forgot that your Void Saber was malfunctioning. Yeah, or I'll shoot that guy and then I'll move to the corner. Yeah, Let's definitely. Yeah. So Dragon great. pistol at medium range. Uh, so just no penalty, uh, but you get plus one bonus dice from the, uh, what is your thing called? Murder, murder, blood must, no, uh, Raiders of the Void. Raiders of the Void, plus one dice. Yeah. It says plus rank bonus dice to melee or ranged attacks when you seize the initiative. Oh, uh, excuse me. Then you're, oh, you are rank one though. You're tier two, but you're rank one right now. Okay. So one dice. One extra dice. That's a badass. I love the, how the ranking thing works for the different talents. Because then it goes up as you get stronger. Oh, <laughs> look at wow. that. So that glory is going back in the pool if someone wishes to do so. Can somebody do that for me, please? There's also a critical hit, uh, but let's see if he survives yeah, this do. first. Thanks, so Jeff. you only needed two to hit him. So here's it. Ooh, here's the decision, Dave. Uh, why don't you roll damage first, and then we'll figure out where you want to put the extra damage. I was ask if the yeah, because the thing is, is you're going to want to balance the damage of bonus. versus or range attacks. Is that the is the language in this? That's damage dice or is that just attack, attack just attacks rolls? that's just who attacks for okay yeah yeah just to attacks it, we, we, there is a uh, separate things that would be adding to damage so okay. roll damage and then you're gonna make a decision of it was a two to hit them whether to, holy fuck okay so i will save you the agony here dave um you're gonna can i as you can, go in because it's a mob on. You have four extra successes. So if you don't want to shift, you can just hit five targets out of this. There's like sure you can spring across the room and hit I will people. show you what, so you go running in here, just so you can see where all these are in. Yeah. Um, with 12 damage, that is enough to take any one of them out. So it goes racing in one, Two, three, four, <laughs> five. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds pretty good, actually. Okay. Now, you also have a simple action. Uh, if you're not doing anything else with your simple action, you could spend the simple action to move another eight, if you'd like. Okay. Um, I won't move another eight. I'll move a partial. I'm going to... Okay go back into no not into the wall back into the room okay and then down a bit so i can be in this bottom corner okay so that next next time i can fix my sword hopefully okay now it, I, you also said something earlier about spending the um uh, wrath no not the wrath i see um is that what gave me the critical, having the Yeah, so when, when you roll a uh, Wrath Dice, when you get a Exalted Icon on your Wrath Dice on an attack, uh, you, you anytime you roll an Exalted Icon on your Wrath Dice, you get glory. If it's in an attack, you also score a critical hit, but because they're a mob, they don't take critical hits, you just get to mow through a whole bunch of them. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So then um, you race in, and then, I'm sorry, what did you say to the others? He's like, there's a punch in the other room. Spray, 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 spray. And then he comes around the corner. Most of them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots. <laughs> All right, so let's go with... Um, you know, I fucking love... There are, with the ruin rules, um, there's also, like, specific ruin spends I can do to kind of, like equate what a boss monster might be like in other games. 
awesome stuff. What's Salvo? Uh, Salvo is, uh, you could choose to use one reload, I think, uh, and then it does that extra damage. Oh, cool. Well, I, I I think I'm just making shit up now. <laughs> so long. That's fun though. That's a, well, yeah, yeah, there, there's a good chance that about thirty percent of that is right, but uh... it sounds reasonable. Wow, <laughs> Kev's, Kev's just making up rule books as he goes. Yeah, no, Salvo is a cool ability though, because it's something that uh, Dave's or uh, that uh, Doctor can do as well. Salvo options. Yeah. Here's what you can do: full auto, where you can make a full auto uh, attack to gain a number of bonus dice equal to the Salvo rating. You can do a spray shot with a Salvo. Um, do it as part of a multi-attack penalty, reducing the multi-attack penalty equal to your salvo shot, or spray versus mobs. Um, make a range attack against the mob as normal. If you're successful, you hit an additional number of individuals in the mob equal to the salvo value that stacks with the other option to add extra successes in. Oh, cool. So salvos can chew through mobs. They can reduce the penalty if you want to hit more than one non-mob target, or they can just add extra dice as you're just focusing on one target. But as soon as you use salvo, you do need to spend a simple action, I think it is, to reload. Okay. Yeah. Reloading is a simple action, yeah. Okay. And uses okay. one point of ammo. All right, then, uh, actually, let's save the big bad guy for last. Let's get some, you guys are breaking all my mobs, so let's get some some more out here. More I'm more getting them out here, and I'm readying some actions. Let's fall out, guys. All right. Oh, you know what? We had fun with this before, didn't we? Let's uh, toss another grenade in there. <laughs> Uh, Archon, are you taking the hit, or are you going to retreat? I'll dive for cover. Okay. So if you dive for cover, you're losing your next action. Uh, just roll your initiative stat, please. Combat initiative? Um, oof, it's deviating. You know what? That's two more, so you treat your... Uh, so you'll take one point of damage... Uh, and then you can go ahead and roll your determination and see if you can convert that to shock instead. Yep, so take one point of shock and you can move yourself one square. Um, so there's another grenade that goes off in there, but uh, Dr. Ignatius and Disorder, you're not affected by it. Uh, back to our heroes. Who would like to go next? Ignatius or Disura? You got a plan, James, or should I go? Uh, you go. Okay. I will follow my new friend. Okay. And I will fire through this opening. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, it is a mob um, you're firing in, so a difficulty of two. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. That yeah. is rarely a good thing when a complication shows up on a plasma weapon. So let me look at that. Oh boy. Oh well, boy. Well, thank heavens you moved away from me. <laughs> I think they set off another grenade. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm guessing that's not a reroll. Plasma gun, a rapid fire. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't think you're... It's only when you supercharge it. And I didn't try and push that hard on... Uh, yeah, you supercharge the weapon. Uh, if you roll a complication, you take 1d6 mortal wounds. But if you hit, it does an extra 3 damage. Fortunately, Jeff uh, did not take advantage of that option. So actually, it's just... Uh, give us a root 66 roll, please. And let's All see right. what comes up. 53. 53. <laughs> you drop it. <laughs> Jesus, this thing's hot. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, I mean, it heats up. Uh, here's the thing is right now, I mean, that roll can't get any worse. Um, you got a miss and you got a complication. Would you like to spend a point of wrath, reroll that last dice, see if you can't get a hit out of this? Uh... 
please. Yeah, because I guess I could. Yeah, you so could. Here we go. Come on. So click on so, the Oh, there's a re-roll. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know sorry, what? There I, is. I bet you it'll fuck up because uh, you rolled the Route 66. But let's try. No, I stand corrected. And it's another complication. <laughs> Fantastic. No, it's not. What? It's just a two. No, no, it's just the two. The, oh, yeah. It okay. just happened to show up a second time. <laughs> uh, all right. So then you oh, fire. Oh Unfortunately, I think it me. I don't know why. Why do you think it is that you were just off and this thing burned you and you dropped it? Well, you know, I moved away from my cover. Yeah. Which was my ally who dived out of the way. I don't know if he heard what I said about enjoying... <laughs> He read my thoughts. <laughs> no, what I saw was a grenade. That's what happened. I saw a grenade. <laughs> and so, yeah, he just, you know, maybe, I mean, that is a that is an actual fire in the middle of the room there, is it not? It is a giant pyre, yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe just the aim he went to take uh, across the room, he just reached too far over the blaze. Oh, and, God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, burned himself and yeah. had to... Okay, so then I think it'll be a combat action to pick it up from the ground. Normally, like drawing or readying a weapon is only a simple action, but mm. uh, if you dropped it, that's a that's a different uh, matter. So you still have a simple action left if you'd like. Um, um. You have a scanner as well too, I think, don't you? Built into your noggin. Remember, you got that cybernetic oh. implant, right? Yeah. So you could do a simple right. action to do maybe an aspect scan, see what else is in here. Sure. What do I roll? Uh, scan. Uh, probably tech. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, tech or awareness. I, I'd be fine with either of those. Oh, yeah. Three. Nice. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so you, uh, let me just, I'll put you back here in a sec, but let me show you what's in this room. Mm, he scanned it and saw. Yep. Oh my God. He probably says that yeah. <laughs> out loud. Oh my God. Emperor, preserve us. <laughs> All right, uh, then it is my turn. I'm gonna move. Um, there was only one in there when I was done. Unless, Dasura, you want to spend glory and seize the initiative. I'm assuming not. She's been a little cautious thus far. And, um, well, why don't we try doing that? I will. Uh, let's do that. I will. Because I'm just, just looking at the ranges. Okay. So, um, yeah. shall we spend one? Sure. And I, I will think you could. fog their minds. Oh, nice. Okay. So, oh, what is the Shall range of that this... again? Oh, it's, well, it's oh, it depends on how, on how many you roll, right? It, uh, yeah, but it's okay. uh, standard is ten, which will catch most of them already. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just wondering. There's someone else who might be affected by it. I'm going to see if they're in. Okay, so that's good I to can know. roll yeah. and then I can see what how far I do it. I made a point of, of like getting in case because it goes through walls and shit. I made a point of making sure everybody else was on the table this time, so you could be affected by it, or they could be affected by it. So, right, so go let's ahead, go. activate your. Let us see. The request has been sent to the server. Oh, it's up. Fog the mind. So there oh, you that go. that sucked. That is six successes. Who do you wish to wrath that? You would run the risk of a complication, but when is uh, the warp not a fun thing to manifest? What do you think? Um, does it? Uh, I don't think it really matters, right? Um, it, let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. Fog the mind. Uh... Yeah, you've got one. The difficulty of it is a four, so you so could I shift can the. Upgrade. Yeah, to make it twenty. Yeah, so I. Twenty okay. feet. Uh, twenty. Yeah, so I lift it to twenty because I don't think you know scoring more would do anything. Awesome. All right, so then, and it is. Ooh. They must make an immediate. Okay, okay so it's, uh, I'm gonna just quickly, uh, for the mobs, I'll put them in groups of five. Um, one, two. Oh, 
I have a feeling I need to look up the rules for area effect for mobs because I don't think they get to... Yeah, that's a... Oh, when they make bit. an attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. even start. Okay, so then... Um, one, two, three, four... Okay, so then all the mob is going to be staggered. As, once again, your psychic wave hits them. Um, I just need to get a small shovel to roll the dice for the magus. <laughs> Hold on here. Um, I shouldn't have too much difficulty two, to get a six. Three, four, then. five, six. Yeah, they're good. They're good. All right. Yay. Okay, so then uh, Desura has gone... Uh, if someone could reduce the glory by one. Oh, yeah, I can do that. And then I will go with my angry... Oh, the Magus. Let's see. Let's see. What are they going to do? Ooh, I can return fire. <laughs> so it begins pulsing out. Let's see if I succeed here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've got, that's excess. Um, all right, so then I need Archon, Desura, uh, Ignatius, and Doctor to each give us a willpower check, please. It's a DN6. Mm. I could spend one to make it an action and then move out too. That's fucking cool. Willpower check. All right, Doctor Ignatius. Six is pretty high for an attribute, I think. So we got our our work cut it's out a for tough, like the, the penalty is actually not as bad as you might think. Uh, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the penalty is is that you're hindered too, so your difficulties go up by two, and you're staggered, so you're moving at half speed. So you're not taking any damage part? or anything. All right, so. All right, so the only one who is. <laughs> pushing along here uh, is Desura. You feel that wave hit you and um, it does not disrupt your thing because you didn't take any damage. Uh, but the rest of you guys are uh, hindered. You feel that wave of this and the same kind of um, cacophonous distraction that I described for Desura before, you guys are hearing that. This must be what it's like to be linked in to that psychic beacon that the gene stealers create. Um, mm. That I think is the end of the round, guys. So then uh, we're at the start of tart, the start even uh, round three. What's, what was it? What's it called? We're hindered. Is that what it is? Hindered. Yeah, you are hindered, and you are hindered too, and you are staggered. Okay. Okay. Top of the round. Who would like to go first? Are there? Um... Like tick boxes or something for those injured and staggered? Uh, or? I don't think so because like they don't necessarily. I mean, the hindered one maybe you can give yourself. Uh, let's see here. Trauma done. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't. I haven't seen them. Not yet not modifier shock modifier no. That's fine. I'll just. It's just for one round. Well, right? you know what it does? It doesn't actually affect your... It affects the difficulty numbers, not your dice pool. That's one neat thing with the game. You're not ever having to recalculate your dice pool. It's just the difficulty, so it's plus two to all difficulties right now. Well, you know all what? Right. That's okay, because I'm just doing nothing because I do. Oh, right. So you're recovering yourself, Archon? Uh, well, hold on, yeah. but do you want to take the first action, or does someone else want to go before one of my guys goes? I'll take the... F mm. I guess, does, it, <laughs> does anyone else have an action they want to take right away? Those uh, you can hear that it sounds like the uh, uh, the gene sealers are are uh, getting kind of getting together for some kind of response. And Ignatius uh, or Factotum, your plasma pistol, for instance, is on the ground right now. If another grenade comes in here, while well, that is the case. That might not be good. Anyone? Archon, did you say you're going first? Well, I was asking if anybody else wanted to go first. Archon's got a pass, uh, just like he did last time. Right. Yeah, I, I dove for a grenade last round, so I'm... 
basically doing just whether you soak up that there's not really a um purpose i guess this time um <clears throat> And then somebody else is seizing the initiative in some more. And remember how holding an action works. Holding an action lasts for the the turn pass. So if you choose to take a turn and then hold an action, when someone else goes, it'll be a contested initiative roll. And then if you beat them, you get to take your action before they do. So for instance, they, if they're mm -hmm. going to charge in in melee and try and take you down, you might be able to interact uh, interrupt them. As an Ignatius, I, I don't know why that yeah. example comes to mind, but <laughs> Ignatius, you're on the front line. Do you have any preferences? I mean, I have to, have to bend over and pick up my gun. So <laughs> bending, bending over in combat, you were never trained about this. this uh, <laughs> that is, that is, that is no. rarely, rarely. You still would have your simple action and your move, though. So, like, you could easily, for instance, <laughs> does look like there's a room on the bottom of the uh, of this room. So if you okay, wanted to get fair. out of this that that same bottleneck corridor, you could, for instance, grab your weapon, run on the far side, and then uh, you know. What's the right. rules on using a las gun if I'm in melee, Kevin? You know? uh, you cannot. Cannot. You can only use a pistol. Gotcha. Uh, no, oh, they said I, that. I, I have a bayonet. Sure. I'm, yeah, I'm remembering you, I have presumably you could smack him with it. <laughs> yeah, you bayonet, got a so viral bayonet as well, I think, or chain yeah, bayonet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, I forgot about that. <laughs> the forty k rule: take something and make it worse. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold action. Okay, so you're taking your action to hold then. Yeah. So would you like to move before you do you hold your combat action? Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch sides. So the doctor is working for the gene stealers now. Um, <laughs> what? That is, that is more than GM trash talk. Ignore his, <laughs> ignore his nonsense. His nonsense. Where would you like to go, doctor? Oh, just like I'm just going right. I just switched sides of the uh, hallway. That's all I did. Okay. And you're not taking action. Oh, but I'm holding. Right, I'm holding. Well, I'm, just qu I'm questioning why you might want to hold. Like, what if you've got a shot? Is there a reason well, why you wouldn't take it? Oh, that's true. I can see them. That's a good point. I was thinking that it was a little bit complicated, but if yeah, I can see and them, that's again, a good point. they're they're a mob. So if you want to get uh, in there and start yeah. fucking blazing yeah. away, yeah, get them out. So there's fewer, fewer of them to kill us. And to be clear, it's not like uh, Fantasy Flight where you have to like down one before the damage goes to the next. In this game, if you hit at every extra focus, you get to hit one additional target. So you can start wearing it, down a crowd rather than like having to chew through one and one and one. Does it behoove me to uh, use a salvo here? Boy, that would do a lot of extra damage. It, it costs me a round, that's the thing. So yeah, plus minus, right? So you get... You yeah, get, you how get, many, you've got what, like two ammo, three ammo? Um, it's your last gun. Um... Here, let me tell you how much you got. It's because uh, I think I basically gave you this most of the same gear uh, that the oh salvo three. I have salvo three. Well, that... no, that's that's what the that's what what you get uh, from okay. it. You can. Uh, that's it, not magazines. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's not your ammo. Uh, your ammo will be here. We go. Th uh, three. Okay. So. Doctor, what we should, does that have any impact on what you are doing? Yeah, I, I, I'll try it. Let's give it a run. So I think you Let's need to move up a bit. Like from if I view from your token, uh, <laughs> you, I don't see you having line of sight right now. I mean, I, I get. I mean, I is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I was thinking that. Uh, but again, you can still move though. Yeah. How about right there? Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, you could see like one or two. Come on, doctor, get in there. Well, I'm anticipating if they come rushing in, so I was trying to get a good spot for defensive while I was right. shooting. You obviously, shoot, move and then go back. Yeah, right? and they keep they. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And then also remember they've got um, grenades. So like, if you don't take the either a like take the fight to them with grenades or you know b get in there and make it so that they can't just use grenades against you. Uh, you guys are going to gotcha. have a hard time. Yeah. Think Omaha Beach. Uh, let's see. One, <laughs> How did two, that end for anyone? Three. Poorly for anyone. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Holy back. smokes. I'll go back afterwards. Let okay. it right here. That's possible. 
So running up, uh, if you are using, so here's a couple of things that are going on. If you're using Salvo to uh, target a mob, that means you can hit three extra targets automatically. And uh, you're gonna get plus one to hit because of the range and you're gonna get plus, uh, what's your rapid fire rating? Uh, From the last gun? Uh, it's two, isn't rating it? Rating is six. It shows a rating field six. Uh, no, no, no. It'll be um, so your rapid fire. What's one thing it doesn't show up? Rapid fire is one. So you'll do one extra damage at this range as well. Okay. Okay. So you head up. Go ahead when you are ready and give us your attack roll. All right. Let's see. No. Okay. Making sure. Nope. So you should right. have plus one. You should have one bonus dice to this because of the short range. Okay. Uh, base weapon DR. My base weapon DR still is... Uh, no, yeah, that stays the same. The only thing I should be changing uh, on that sheet is when you're changing the bonus dice. That's it. Gotcha. That should be a one, right? It should be a one. Correct. Okay. And the salvo comes later. I don't need to do anything yeah, for that. Yeah, because of what you're targeting, salvo can either give you a plus three uh, bonus dice if you're focusing on one target, or it can give you uh, reduced penalty of multi-attack by three, uh, or if you're fighting a mob like this one is, you'll hit three additional targets. Nice. Okay. Okay. So that... Whoa! Big fucking hit and oh, wow. wrath as another glory that goes in. Nice. Hell yeah. All right, so you got right now, you are hitting, uh, if you choose to dump all of your points in, um, why don't you roll damage first and you can decide whether you want to shift exalted icons whatsoever. Right now you're hitting eight targets. Yeah, doctor's, doctor's pissed. He just ran up there and like, it's time. Um, okay, so, so let's roll, see, damage rolls. So, damage, uh, yeah, remember, it's plus one to your damage, plus one bonus dice to damage because of the uh, rapid fire. So one in that field. Yes, please. And, um, okay. Here we go. Come on. Big money. That's eight. Ooh, okay. So right now you're doing eight damage, um, and uh, that would be, they have a fair bit of resilience. So that's not gonna be enough to take them down. Um, Cause their resilience is a six. So right now they're taking two points of damage. Would you like to shift any exalted icons, you could shift up to two of them to roll extra dice for damage. And we read those the same way we do those about five, four or five is extra one point of damage, a six is extra two damage, and you can spend glory as well. You have two points of glory that can also give you extra damage. Um. <laughs> And what else would I use those shifts for? That's probably the best, right? That's uh, the other shift is just to hit more targets. That's it. You can put uh, it back into glory as well. But um, no, yeah, I think we got to put targets down here. So yeah, we will shift it into damage. Okay. So how much would you like to put two extra dice? To um, it. to it. I might go. I mean, I could go big. I could use up the glory. Um, yep, you could do four extra damage. That would be big because you oh, would yeah. clear out. Uh, that would clear out four targets if you can get that damage up. Actually, piercing, uh, putting putting four down, I think it's a big deal. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm greedy okay. now. I'm on the front line and I'm greedy. Hell and I'm yeah. Doing it. Well, you don't want the counterattack either, right? So go ahead. Right. 4d6. Just, Come on. All right. 4d6. Come on. That is one extra so right now they're at three so would you like to spend wrath to re-roll your damage right now that'd be three dice you're re-rolling make sure you can re-roll yes. damage wrath. i think you can re-roll failures let's say you can <laughs> if i'll look it up afterwards so if you want to spend a point of wrath go ahead and re-roll four d6 once again better there you go that is one two three extra damage 
All right, tell us what it looks like as you come in here and with your las gun clear out a bunch of these fuckers. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I'm ru- I'm 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 running up to that doorway, so I got I'm just ah, and then I just start going ah. <laughs> and it's muffled by the mask, so you get the yeah. full mask effect too. That. <laughs> <laughs> I've given you one extra because you rolled that critical hit too, and they don't take crits. So you race over and fi- you just fill this whole area. Five of them are blasted to bits and fall down. How much move do you have left? Uh, let's see. I started. I started. Uh, I started here. Okay. So it'd be one, two, three. Four. Uh, you have two more if you'd like to move two more. And oh, I think it was a full round for this, so you're not gonna. Oh, you could use a, a simple action to reload. I guess. Yeah, I'll do that. Unless let me double check. Salvo might yeah, be yeah. Uh, might require your combat action and your simple action. Let me just do a little check here. Oh, and there's pinning attacks in this too. God. All sorts of great. Okay. You got rules for on fire? Fantastic. <laughs> All right, salvo options. Okay, so it's a full round, so you're not going to get a simple action. So you can't reload this round. So, yeah. Doctor, you race up and fire and go back. Now, uh, there is no glory in the pool, which means I get to go next. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I do have a little bit of bad news. Um, you did not apply the plus two for uh, what do you call it? Uh, you're going to have to stay where you are because you didn't apply the plus two uh, and um, plus two the difficulty number for your um, for the the psychic uh, wave uh, and your stagger. So you only move half your movement. Oh, gotcha. Okay, but we'll otherwise keep things as is because I don't think you're in a bit of an unenviable position right now anyway. Um. So this is, you can imagine, even more badass. You fought against the wave of what was hitting you. Um, that psychic wave to go in and clear a bunch of these guys out. Now, my mob is going to move forward and try and shoot the good doctor. I'm glad we encouraged him to run up and shoot everybody. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, they're also all affected by this, so they ah, likewise are going to. Doctor, your defense is a three, right? Yeah. I need a five uh, in order to uh, to actually hit you. So I'll get my dash pool together here. One, two, there we go. And um, from the mob, there we go. Hair Doc Tear. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Oh, that is not good. So they are firing at you, Doctor, but it seems that they are being affected as much uh, by the penalty from Desura's wave as what you are. I failed by one. Remind me if I haven't told you guys uh, about it before to tell you the time where I went so overboard with my Battletech situational modifiers that I made it impossible for anyone to shoot each other (laughs) in one scenario. (laughs) It was truly the greatest. All that right, sounds... and piloting checks each turn too. What a terrible fucking <laughs> set game! All right, the others <laughs> are gonna prepare. Um, oh, you know what? I cheated. I need to move this guy over here because no, not him. Him. Move this guy over here. Move the light back over here, and then this thing is gonna go. Okay, so I've gone with um, my first batch. Who would like to go next? And to help with the decision, everybody gets nope, a wrath hey. point. Mm. Cool. I, it makes sense that I'm last because I just keep my power up. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> absolutely. Sure. So then uh, Archon or Ignatius? I mean, I, I can reach down and try and pick up my gun. You don't have to roll for it. You just spend your action getting it up and it's oh, okay. ready. Yeah, so you have a simple action, you need your full move. Okay. So I can't take a combat action then. No. So I will move. Can you move the power or something. You could yeah. like you could move in front of me. 
for example. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, remember that you guys are staggered. Uh, you are staggered, so. I can still yell it. I don't care. He doesn't care what the rules are. Doctor says, you can yeah, I'm gonna move in front of me. <laughs> I'm going to move to here. Okay. Uncover the room. I forgot this bad guy's got shock as well. Awesome. Okay. All right, so you're moving to the back there. Uh, then it is uh, my turn. Another of those terrifying... Oops, that's the wrong thing. I, I was about to throw a monastery at you, Sean. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These things that's race forward. Issue. And let's get the attack. So you got an A3. Uh, yeah. This thing is affected by it, so I actually need a 5 from it as well. And weapon skill is 8. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, one, two, oh, I got a glory. I, I got a ruin. One, two, three. All right. I got a hit. And I got a critical hit on the good Ooh. doctor good doctor would you kindly give us a d root 66 roll please 46 murderous onslaught so as this thing hits you let me i gotta roll damage you're also gonna take 1d3 plus one mortal wounds you take three mortal wounds you take three wounds automatically and you are knocked prone they get so yeah, knocks you off your feet and then the damage is gonna be oof rending claw uh let's see let's see that is 11 points of damage so reduced by your resilience to three so I took so the three wounds I took right yeah. at first. Yeah. Okay. They are so yeah. Those off. are mortal wounds. Let me double check that you can't uh, use determination on them. I know that your resilience doesn't apply, but I don't know if you can try and convert it into shock. Um, ignores resilience and determination rolls cannot be made to negate it unless you've got a talent or an item of war gear to suff it, suff to, to suck, soak it up. Uh, you can make a determination roll for these three points though. Nice! Awesome! So all of that uh, goes to your shock. Three points of shock. And remember, you can spend Wrath to regain uh, three points of shock whenever you choose. So, this uh, thing raced in and argh, knocks our good doctor square to the ground. Uh, then it is one of your turn. Let, let's let's uh, make sure I'm... So that eight, let's discuss that eight, which is a big number. Uh, That's right? your resilience, isn't it? Because you said I took three wounds and then there was an eight involved. Well, no, no. So you took three wounds. Uh, from, now yep. it's because of the critical hit. Yep. Um, he did 11 points of damage on you, but your resilience is an eight. So that reduces it down to three points of damage. So three total wounds. No. <laughs> then he took three wounds. So you... you All well, right. you, Yes, but let me explain why. So the 11 minus 8 leaves three wounds that you're taken. Because yep. you're your player character, you always get to roll determination to try and convert those wounds into shock instead. You roll gotcha. four uh, icons on that, which means that it counts as you can convert all three over to shock. So you take that Got three it. points of shock damage instead of wounds. Gotcha. Just making sure I wasn't... Yeah, yeah, that way you're under, not dying. Uh, and I don't think right. you still had at least four shock left right so i had three shock left oh and so i'm at zero okay mm. i don't know if i can now spend a wrath or do we get an effect you yeah know, from... you spent hold on let me um i'll say yes uh, you can do that for now and i'm just gonna check and see what happens if you run out of shock okay uh, i don't know if there is shock here we go if you suffer more shock than your maximum shock, you are exhausted. But if you're just down to zero? Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. It is a combat action to regain that shock. 
Oh, okay. That's a second win. So you're at. So you're not. Yeah. So technically, you're at zero. We should be measuring it from low to high instead, because it's when your I'm wounds sure. exceed your wound threshold, and then when your shock exceeds your shock threshold. Um, but gotcha. right now, you're just you're hovering on that zero point. So you're knocked down, but you are otherwise okay. Um, then it is. Uh, sorry, one of you guys, Archon. Do you want to pass so that Desura is going last? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'll uh, get myself up and... All right, then... Um, Let me quickly collect myself. Yep. And the... Let's see here. Um, the Magus is going to sustain the power. And... will hold an action. Desura, your turn. So I'll hold the power, so that's one off my... Shock. I need to change my shock down by okay. one, and then... Do you wish to do anything? I'll move down here. Okay. All right, that brings us to the end of round three, that's guys. It. We are on to round four. Which of you would like to go first? I think everyone's uh, recovered from their... Uh, diving for cover. We had no grenades go off this round, which is, I know, tragic. <laughs> but So, how about the rules for breaking out of engagement? Good question. So, to get out of engagement, you can... Um, you can do a full defense where you roll your initiative attribute and then you increase your defense by one plus every icon you rolled. Um, and does that let me withdraw? Well, no, you. they would still get an attack on you. Um, mm. As long as they have a reflexive action. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a fallback action, 188. Uh, fallback, you can use your combat action to fall back from close combat with any number of threats. You may then use your movement without suffering reflexive attacks from engaged enemies. But you can only move half right now. And your movement must take you at least half your speed away from the edge. So you got to move your full half speed. If this is doable, I think I'm interested. Okay, but let's see about being prone, though. Because um... you are prone as well. Uh, condition. Defense minus two to threats within five meters, plus one to threats further away. There is... No other modifier listed there. So you can scramble on your knees and feet if you like. Knees and hands. Hands and knees. Took me about three tries to get to the common saying of that. <laughs> uh, st standing up when prone is a free action on your turn. Um, if you stand up in this way, you can only use the standard movement option. You can't use combat options such as brace or aim. Um... An adjacent character may use a simple action to help you stand up immediately when you're prone. So, if one of your allies wanted to use their simple action to help you up, you could then use your combat action to uh, withdraw. Or to whatever it was, combat. I've already forgotten what it is. No one's close to me right now. Does that hinder They that? aren't, but... I imagine Archon, is, if he gets his sword working, would want to do that, or Deserta could run forward and help you, or Captain, uh, or the uh, Factotum Ignatius could move forward, use a simple action to help you up, and then shoot with his combat action, for instance. Gotcha, because I was trying to avoid uh, letting this guy attack me, obviously. Yeah, oh, absolutely, and that's where you may need to rely on your allies here. Or, you know, like, if they think that they can get him down from there, uh, he's down, so there's no firing into melee problem. Uh, Ignatius could try and zorch the guy, and uh, and then if, as long as he's not there, you got no one who's engaged with you. Then you can pull back. Yeah. So who, who thinks they can put this guy down? My nemesis, my current nemesis. Archon has, with his shuriken pistol, blown through one of these before. Oh no, that was uh, Captain. Uh, that was a uh, factotum, Ignatius. Yeah, Ignatius. Right. Yeah. What do you think? Which of you guys? Yeah, I mowed down some mobs. Who can take this guy? I yell. <laughs> Archon looks at Ignatius. <laughs> I 
I'll give you three go. seconds to decide where I'm spending Should room go? to go and go attack go. the down yeah, target. Right. Okay. There we go. <laughs> all right. One, two, See, that's a really three. good use of ruin. <laughs> <laughs> Players are dithering. Ruin! So I, I move here. So your simple action, you yank the doctor up to his feet. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's right. And actually, Ignatius, if you want to use your power sword instead, if your weapon skill is better than your ballistic skill, your choice. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Ballistic one. Remember, you are taking still the same weapon penalty, two. though. You get plus two to your target numbers, and you are only able to move half your move. Oh, you... maybe I couldn't get there. One, no, two, could. three, four. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think you could only reach there, though. Yeah, I can only reach there. So yeah, you can right. get the doctor up, and you could fire then your plasma. Yeah, I'll have to shoot my gun. I'll have to shoot my gun. Okay, go right ahead. You have plus okay. one, plus one bonus dice because it is in short range. Uh oh, is there a bonus dice? Thing? Yep. Under the it says A B D. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. right here. I think this does that. Yeah. And then go ahead. So the target number, unfortunately, with the psychic wave hitting you, uh, it is going to be five to hit him. Which... Uh, yeah, <laughs> which I didn't roll any of. So close. So close. Uh, do you want to spend a point of wrath and re-roll then? In um... theory, you could get five. Yeah, why not? I, I got them. You've got quite a few wrath. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. I might as well. Did we get a wrath at 10 o'clock that I was Oh! Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that man, so that's so good. All right. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you can squeeze in extra. You don't have any glory, do you? Oh, because you spend glory. No, I don't think we do. No, yeah, we only have one. And yes, Dave, you did get one at uh, 10 o'clock. Ah, uh, shit, that's so close. I know. That damn Magus, you need to get him to... Stop hit focusing on his psychic ability. Um, <laughs> then, so that is it. And unfortunately, you do not have. Uh, unless, yeah, no one's got glory. You can't interrupt me. So I'm going with that same acolyte. So he is going to rear back with those claws that cut through Terminator armor and try and carve down our good doctor once again. I do have plus two to my um, target number, so I need five successes to hit. I just barely hit. So that is doctor. Um, I think you have too many wounds doctor and for some reason your wrath is full again and your wounds are up to six so i re i think you you i thought you said to reverse it so i just went ahead and reversed it so now five is bad you know five is at the threshold i uh, maybe you know, just keep it the way it was because like that's what we've got for everyone else right now we'll we'll, okay. we'll, we'll change it around otherwise otherwise it's gonna fuck me up uh okay. for this so um that is 11 points so you got three Wounds, go go ahead and give us your determination roll. Determination. Because if it is... Oh, nice, Doctor! All right. So then that exceeds your shock. So now you'll... You, I guess it's three more shock you take, which means you are exhausted. Let me make sure that that can be done. Um, where is it here? Damage, damage. Um, here we go, shock. All right, so you are currently exhausted. So you're at uh, three, minus three, basically. You throw, your shock is going to be at minus three right now for the way that we're recording it right now. And exhausted is page 199. On your turn, you can only walk or crawl, perform a basic combat action, or fall back. So you still can fall back. 
Hmm. Oh, and you can't use determination. Shit. All right, so this thing claws you, but you're not dead, Doctor. Um, then it is, uh, and remember, you can still recover shock as a, with a combat action. So you could do that as well as what was listed there. Then it is one of you guys gets to go. Who would like to go? Has the doctor gone? Doctor has not no. gone yet. Yep. Uh, do you want to go and get out of there, Doc? Like use a Garath and get some shock back so he you're can't, not- The thing is he can either withdraw or he can spend a combat action to do it. If someone else goes and takes that thing down, then he could right. potentially move and spend a combat action to recover shock. Okay. Mm. It's time for a shrieking gun, I think. Okay. Love it. Uh, shrieking pistol. I think I'm going to. Nine year old Kev thinks you're the coolest. Now, I'll say though, I'm on my feet. So I don't. Now, right? So I don't know if I'm causing a problem. Firing into melee. Good question. Uh -oh. um, well, yeah, maybe I'll wait. Hold till... on. Let's see here. If that's more dangerous, I don't want to hit you with the shrieking gun. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The Eldar are very uh, mercurial, as I said. <laughs> Wasn't he in our sight? For, no, fucking Eldar. Yeah, if you hit us both, you may still you may still think, you know, yeah, that's. I mean, it happens. Red mist. Right. Red mist. Is red mist. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, firing into melee. If the Wrath Dice is a 1, the range attack is made against a random target in the melee instead of the chosen target. So, so just don't roll a... Uh... Yeah, what oh, are the chances? 1, 8, 9. If you use the aim option, it said, um, if you sacrifice your movement uh, to focus on aiming a weapon, you get plus 1 dice to your range attack. And it also allows you to ignore the chance of uh, hitting a target. But I don't okay. know. Do you have? Yeah, you got line of sight to the target from there. Yeah. So what do you want to um, do? Do you want to stand still and just ignore the? Yeah, I will stand still, aim, and fire. Okay, so you get one extra. So you're gonna have two bonus dice because of range and because of aiming, but it's a target number of five. So let's see. Come on, Archon. Well, you got a glory. Uh, would you, do you want to spend wrath? Look, that's a dog shit roll. And you can only get better with the reroll. Do you want to spend wrath and reroll? Yeah. Go ahead and click mm -hmm. on reroll. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and it's a critical hit on this thing, too. Uh, so that is for gall. Oh, dang it. Fuck. That's incredible. That's, That's incredible. really unfortunate. So it's a miss just by one again. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Uh, you still can't, oh, you can't move because you aimed. Do you have a simple action you want to do? Uh, I was looking at simple actions and now I forgot because I'm worried about hitting the dock. Uh, getting my sword working is not a simple action. That's... No, no, that'll be a combat action to get it working. Yeah, uh, reloading a weapon I don't need to do. Looking around with my awareness. No, um... No, I'm, I'm done. Okay, I was just rolling here. Oh, there is one glory in the glory pool because of your wrath dice. You could spend one point of glory to roll one extra dice. You need one more success out of this. Fifty <laughs> fifty shout. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's roll one dice. Okay. Let's see if we can blow this guy away. Hmm. So I'm just rolling one glory dice. Uh, one no no roll one one uh, d six. Okay. 
Come on. Yeah! Oh, Look Ex at that! <laughs> nice. Exalted icon. Hell yes. Amazing. That is nice. awesome. Go ahead and roll damage. Sorry for screaming wow. in your ears, too. I really want that to work. <laughs> Me too. Like, wow, wow. I turn my mic or my headset down. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. The folks at home aren't going to hear because it equalizes out, so it never peaks, but does it for yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. All right, so the shuriken pistol, that is 10 points of damage. Uh, ooh, ooh. Now, um... Oh, and you've no that. exalted icons to spare, unfortunately. Uh, but you did roll a critical hit. Roll a root 66 for us. Let's see what comes up. Come on, Archon. 55. Oh, that's a <laughs> oh, that's Sammy Hagel in my head now. 55. You can't drive with that. Crimson Ash. Target suffers 1d3 plus 1 wounds and is on fire. Would you give us a nice. D? I think there is a D3 roll at the top there. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that, Archon. Let's see if you can take this thing. These are mortal wounds. It says two points. Oh. So uh, two? Oh, you got no glory left. Glory would allow you to add to damage. Uh, but look at this. Oh, it's on fire, so it's gonna die next turn anyway. All right, so with all of this terrible fracas, uh, Captain Ign or Factotum Ignatius comes in. This is while the psychic pressure is hemming, hammering down on you guys. Run forward, you pull him up. This thing rears back like it's gonna hit you. And uh, Archon, this strange new ally, aims and boom, hits this thing so hard. Those shurikens are moving so fast. It actually causes it to burst into flames and <laughs> stagger back and collapse. Holy smokes. All right. My goodness. Then it is... Um, mm. I will sustain. Now, with fog of war it requires you to make a save each turn right every time it's sustained there's a new set of saves i don't think so let me have a look okay. okay i thought it just sustains uh let's see so i'm wondering if it if it cuts both ways is what i'm curious of Because if so, that means uh, both he and you would have to make... Okay, so... All enemies with range must make the save. Okay, and then sustain. Let's see, what does it say? Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't say about re-rolling. So sustaining powers... That's good. Um, so then both, uh, I, the Magus is going to sustain. Um, one of you guys gets to go. Doctor, would you like to go? I think it's time. Okay. So, um, okay, well, I'm not engaged anymore, right? So, yeah, yeah my, my intent is it's possible. Yeah, so I can move and I can regain shock, right? Yes. So you can bring yourself back down to your threshold. <laughs> so... I'm going to go, is this uh, open? This is a doorway down here? Uh, remember, your movement is halved. Okay. Uh, but yes, so it is open. Yeah. So uh, I'm normally six. That'd be three. Okay. Um, Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Okay. And so I I'm could gonna... try and get rid of this effect on you, but then I... They, I lose the effect on them. Yeah, the, don't worry about me. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm nursing wounds back here. <laughs> There's no need. I'm, I'm out of everyone's consideration at this point. Um, and then I'm going to do my thing on. Um, let's see. Spend the, one uh, wrath. 
Yes. Okay. You got it. And that's just automatic three? Is three that right, back, correct. Three. Yeah. All yeah, right. So I'll be zero. And I can't remember when rules was written whether it uh, automatically gets you below fatigue, but we're going to treat it as such. I'm just for, right. forestalling some kind of comment in future. <laughs> so um, the let's see here. Uh, although I will say, you know what? The, the, the one set of games that we don't, I, I have, I actually, to be in retrospect, have not had people who are like rules checking on any Cubicle 7 game. I haven't had anybody rules checking, and I certainly know I fucked up rules in every Cubicle 7 game I run, but I haven't had comments from Cubicle 7 fans on Warhammer Fantasy 4, on uh, Soulbound, on this. So, Thanks, better fans. class of fan, I think, uh, might be said there. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then uh, it is uh, my turn, unless someone is spending glory. Let me bring your glorious Aquila down here so you guys can keep track of that. Why don't I go, unless some, well, you don't have any glory anyway, so why don't I just go? Oh my God, look. There's no glory in this cap. I am sustaining the effect and I'm gonna ready an action. And then, or hold an action, I should say. Oops, I just hit the wrong fucking thing. Nope, 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 nope. Madison, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Drop live grenade uh, in pack. Then it is, I like how the grenades are, like definitely fucking scary things, but they're not like, okay, you're dead. Like they feel, yeah. they feel quite good in this. Yeah. Um, all right, then it is, uh, Desura, you're the last uh, remaining hero to go. Yeah, so I'll just sustain. Okay. So everyone still feels the, yeah, 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 or the weight of that psychic power. End of the round, guys. We're on to round five. Uh, I am not spending ruin to go first, so one of you guys go right ahead. Doctor, mm. would you like to canvas the healing uh rules again or yeah okay let's talk about what you are capable of doing because you have a pretty badass healing ability you can do i just need to open your character sheet first <laughs> where is it where are you hiding my friend that is the oh, eldari why didn't i open this up at the start of the session uh you know they're listed under the powers tab under your character if that uh I don't oh. know who will uh, get yeah. there first? Because I think your thing allows you to make a like you get a pretty uh, sweet bonus to your uh, uh, first aid checks, and you can use where the heck Angel are? of Mercy. There you go. Because doesn't he look like an Angel of Mercy? Here we go. Okay. Uh, corpse cutter. Uh, when you succeed on a Medicaid test to heal wounds, they recover additional uh, plus one. Your rank is one right now. Yeah. Uh, and you add... Oh, that's Angel Mercy is for the, like, um, the regroup, which is like a, a second wind uh, or a long breast thing. Yeah. So... Um, but what you can do is use your... If you wish to... Um... Is it Medicaid? Yeah. Oh, you can restore shock too. Uh, you can heal wounds. It's a DN3 Medicaid check to restore a wound to a character. Uh, plus one for your rank. And every shifted exalted icon uh, restores one more wound. If you are doing it on yourself, it's plus one difficulty. Yeah. So what are you thinking? I'm, I'm, oh, thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm asking, Who's going to go first? I mean, I just wanted to talk about the uh, yeah, yeah. stuff, but... Yeah, who, yeah, mine can be any time. So someone else do something tactical if you wish. Get in there. What Tesoro could tell you is, uh, as soon if you can affect that uh, Magus, um, if you can find where he is and, and uh, dis disrupt the damage, that'll prevent the psychic wave that's hitting you right now. The alternative thing is Disorder could try and uh, deny the witch and combat it. But as uh, she said, that would take away her penalty she's imposing on them right now. What do you guys think? Archon, you want to get that Void Saber working again? Oh, I was just going to move into the room and I keep forgetting my stupid Void Saber's not working. 
<laughs> um, well, you know what though? The shrieking gun's been treating me well, so. Yep. You want to move in there? I will move into the room. It's, so I'm you can move four. Caught in the wall, I think. Oop. I'm trying to move into the room, but I'm caught in the wall. There you go. Fabulous. So be one. That's two. Uh, are those all? Those all look like mobs in front. Those of me, are. Right? Uh, that's a mob. If you want to unload into them. Uh, up here. And if you step, take a step forward. What, what's that further up north there? Yeah. So I moved one. So if you move one, one forward, you're going to be engaged. That's the only thing to yeah, balance I don't against. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to shriek and pistol. Okay. Spray the mob here. Now the. Shuriken Pistol also has a salvo of uh, two. So you do the same thing that uh, Dr. Klaus did. If you want to empty your pistol, you'll hit two additional targets in the mob. Okay, otherwise it's based on my success, right? Correct, correct, yeah. And right now you get that like psychic thing hitting you, so. Yeah. Um... Okay, so then I'll do that. Okay, so you're going to have one bonus dice on the attack for the range, uh, and you're going to hit two additional targets with this, and then you will need to spend a simple action to reload afterwards. But go ahead. So make one bonus dice, and then go ahead and make your attack. Difficulty will be four with that psychic power, and that's enough! Oh, and a complication! Hot damn. Damn. Why don't you All my weapons are broken. <laughs> Route 66 <laughs> for us, will you, please? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll just... Uh, okay, I'm out of the fight for a bit. And I will I say, forty minutes. Fifty-five, forty-four. Uh, Jesus, it'll be dropped. Uh, so you're gonna drop the item at the end of this, but that can't get any worse than what it is right now. Do you want to spend wrath to re-roll, try and get some extra successes? It still gets dropped, right? Yeah, like you, you once you've rolled the, all it does is it re-rolls everything that's not a one uh, or a success. Hmm. Um. Everything that's not a one or a success. Yeah. Or sorry. Yeah. No, everything that's not the the wrath dice or a success. You got the complication. You okay. can't get rid of that. Yeah. But you could re-roll five of those uh -huh. dice. Let's do it. Let's okay. make it happen. Let's see. And there you go. So that now is five, six, seven. Uh, so hold on, that's five means uh, five targets you're hitting. No, it's five in excess. That's six targets, seven, eight targets that you're hitting. So um, go ahead and roll damage. Let's see how much damage you do to these guys. Blam. And you do have a bunch of exalted icons, so you could, in theory, shift some of those if you need the extra damage. But you will not require oh you will need to shift one to make it armor piercing so okay. that means you'll hit six targets shift one to make it armor piercing yeah so because you've got that um um whatever it is there's some special ability you think's got rending rending would, would do that all right so yeah. then you stagger into range <laughs> oops you want to step yourself one forward? Blam, blam, blam. Oh, wow. All right. So you've emptied your shuriken pistol. You will need to reload it and look what is down there, Dave. He's like, there's some kind of powerful creature down there. Mm. Actually, he would probably know what it is. Yeah, well, here's what you see. Oh, Ignatius, come and kill it. Oh, whoa. Its head is throbbing with psychic power. Lightning runs around it, and you see it's, it's clearly uh, maintaining something. Uh, you then drop my. Yeah, and then you sort of stumble and drop this. Right, I forgot you dropped the pistol. So you got to pick it up, and you got to reload it, and you got a non-functioning void <laughs> saber. Oh my! 
I would say that so, the Eldar oh sent their God. best and brightest, but I might be fibbing there. Now, um, to the north, there's a Magus. Anybody got a grenade? Is there anything else? Uh, then it is um, uh, my turn. And I am going to go, because you guys have no thing. And I'm going to use... I'm going to go with my Magus first. So, uh, they are going to continue to focus on this power. And then... It is going to... It should go home and make chainmail, I recommend. Oh, you know what it's going to do? It's going to try... It's going to maintain this and try and deny the witch. Uh, yeah, so that... It's going big. Mm, now nah, it's going to attack you, I think. Oh, well, can you do that? Witch. Maintain and use a second action? Uh, it... Maintain and use a second and do a second power. Uh, it's a oh. multi attack, isn't it? Like you, the the oh, okay. sustain doesn't give you any. Uh, it gives you a, a ta what, the modifier, but it doesn't necessarily mean you can't use psychic powers. As far oh, as yeah. Like, ah, live and learn. Yeah, like it, <laughs> good. Like the only downside. Uh, let me double check. I mean, maybe there's. It, it says. No, 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 I, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, no, you can sustain just it. It just means you get plus two to your... An assumption. Uh, you notice because Shadowrun, you could always do something like this. That's why I, I assumed you could do that. When you sustain a spell in Shadowrun, it always, it's every addition is, is involves some kind of modifier. So that's uh, both of the uh, classic FASA games I've referenced tonight. Um, nice. I'm looking forward to running some Shadowrun next month. <laughs> so, all right, so then this thing will... Oh, my goodness. It'll use. Oh, you Eldar scum! I think we're using smite on you. All right, your defense is a three, and I have plus two. I have plus four to my target. No, plus two to my target number because I, I succeeded in the save. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's see. That is, um, all right, uh, your defense is a three, so that's a terrible roll. I'm going to spend my ruin and re-roll because bad guys have cool abilities. Let's see if we can make this a little better. That's a little better. <laughs> I really should have said, let's make this much better. Uh, all right, so I got my three that I need there, and I only have one exalted icon. That is unfortunate. Do I need exalted icons to activate the um, powers or just uh, extra icons? Do you remember offhand, James? I don't. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's your potency. I think it, I thought it was exalted. Uh, exalted, yeah, it's only shifts. That, um, yeah, yeah. So quite then, possibly wrong. No, no, you're, it, is, it is only exalted icons that can be shifted for it. So, you, like, the reason I asked, there's one that was three uh, potency, but uh, I, I didn't roll three exalted icons, unfortunately. So, what happens, though, uh, Archon, you take, uh, you take two mortal wounds. As this thing's focusing on this power, it yeah, lashes out, lightning rakes down the corridor, strikes you, and you take two points of damage. Uh, because it's a mortal wound, you can't take it from shock, so it does have to come from wounds. So it comes off my red? Red bar, correct, yeah. Then, uh, then one of you guys gets to go. Who would like to go? I've gone, so... Yeah. Oh, did uh... you go? What did you do, Doctor? Oh, is it? This is a fresh round. Yeah, you haven't gone yet. Archon's the only one who's gone oh. so far. Well, I, I could deny the witch, then, and try and get rid of the penalty on you guys. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That let's good. do It'd that. Could be a DN six uh, because of uh, your concentration. Oh. Yeah, but it, he's got a Tesoro's got a pretty big uh, pool. Look nice. at that! Awesome. That's an eight. And I wonder if you can cause damage with a exalted icon on it's another witch. 
Let's see. Uh, no, I, I thought you guys were cool. like being mean and saying, I'm going to deny the so wish. Do you want to put that sh that exalted icon into glory? Yeah, let's put that into glory. Awesome. So what does it look like, Tessura, as you shatter this uh, foul Xenos uh, sorcery? Okay, and there's a little rhyme of um, frost over each of you. And then they, you feel the fogginess going away from your mind. <laughs> that uh, nice. cacophony is gone. You guys aren't nice. suffering the plus two penalty any longer. So, Oh, excellent. And there's one glory. I'll put it in for you, James, in the event you're struggling Cheers, with thank that. Thank you. Uh, in case we want to interrupt. Nice. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, so one of you guys could go, or you can let me go with my Minionis. What do you think? Go over it, Ignatius. Step around the corner and obliterate somebody. Like use the <clears throat> use our uh, glory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do it. Dave says do it. I'll do it. Fortune favors the bold. That is true. One, two, and I can move normally. Yep. <laughs> and I can fire. Okay. Uh, then it is uh, the oh no no absolutely no need to we're all learning the game that's uh, you know yeah oh, I thought oh. I was using a full action to uh, hold it no 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 it's just it, yeah that's what the, the penalty to your things are sorry again it's fucking years of shadow run that's the only reason I know because mages continually have to stack up concentration spells and then it gets harder to do other shit so Okay. Cool. All right, so Ignatius, you come in a clear mind, and you can see at the end that uh, Magus. I, and I just want to point out before you put a hole through her, uh, one of the ruin actions I can take is gleeful mockery. They use a simple action to gloat, re revel, re reveal, uh, no, revel in their dark powers, screech in alien fury, fury, or otherwise taunt or mock the uh, the heroes. They gain a number of bonus dice equal to their tier of the game to their next resolve or determination roll. <laughs> this nice. game is amazing. Okay, that's one of the generic that? ruin rolls. Or ruin. I am using a wrath to re-roll. Oh, but you got a crit. Oh, I don't have to? Uh, hold on, let's see. The You do need a wrath to re-roll because you need one more success on this attack. I kind of thought I might need that. Come on, roll oh, 20. You, you can also use the glory point if necessary. Uh, to roll one extra no. dice, yeah. But you can do that afterwards as well. The only downside is if you yeah. don't, if you spend the wrath point beforehand, but look at yes! that. Yes! Beautiful. So, boom, excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, um, hold on. Let me, what is the range on your plasma pistol? Oh. I ask only because if you do have an extra dice, if you can get one more success out of this, you might be able to shift that exalted icon. Uh, range is six. Mm, but could so, you have continued yeah. moving? I could have moved closer, yeah. I could have moved a little closer. Yeah, so you, let's say you did that. I didn't have that range penalty anymore. So one uh, more extra dice. So see, if you can get one more success out of this, then you're going to have... So one... just roll a d6, right? Yep. An exalted icon! Yes! Look at that. Oh. So oh, you, can sh wow. you can shift it to do extra damage if you like. Wow. So, uh, or you could put it into glory. No. Oh, both good options. No, let's uh, <laughs> let's, let's damage this thing. Let's damage okay, so it. Make sure you've got one yeah, uh, bonus. Yeah, it. So put the bonus. So put the A, B, D up by one. Oh, no. The da this one. There we go. I think I did it right. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to double check my... Ooh, that was good. Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, let me check something here. <laughs> wow. Ruin. Here we go. Yeah, Ignatius with the epic shot of the day. Although, uh, Scotch, I can say, the doctor's oh, so clearing the room shot was also quite exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And All I had right. cleared the room shot earlier, too. Two 15. of them now. Um, so I'll be taking, oh, uh, nine points of damage from that. 
<laughs> I can. I have one point of ruin left. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to roll. Um, what do you call it? Um, the, oh, God. I have to spend. So here's the other thing with the uh, villains. I have to spend ruin in order to, um, uh, to try and uh, roll for determination. Uh, oh. I got one, two, three. Okay, so three, I said I was taking nine, six wounds, and three shock. Look at that. Oh, wow. Almost uh, blasted it. Yep, and I need to make a willpower check equal to eight to maintain. Oh, I've already lost that ability anyway. What am I talking about? So can, it's you gone. Can to, you can spend some resources to try and maintain it if you want. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm I'm out of ruin for her. I can't. Uh, <laughs> so now, uh, let's see here. Then, 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 um, I have my little minions, I guess, who can try and go. So they're gonna race up here, and we're gonna unload on you, Ignatius. You, sh you shot mom, so mother, you shot mother. <laughs> Let's see here. That is one, two. So I've got uh, five plus there's two extras. Your defense is a th uh, two or a three, Ignatius? Uh, two only. Two only. All right. Uh, says, oh, no, but I need a nervously. four because of uh, the persisting thing. Uh, I miss by one because of Desora's maintained uh, ability. So again, they're firing <laughs> these, uh, uh, what do they have? Oh, heavy stubbers. So like machine guns, basically, or submachine guns at you. I'm out of actions. Desora, what would you like to do? Oh, oh you denied the uh, do witch. Do I know what the make us is? Yeah, I haven't gone yet. Yeah, so Go the ahead, already denied the but, witch this round. So that's Doctor then. What are you doing? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I I think I'm. I mean, I'm right at the threshold. So I may use mine to uh, spend a wrath to uh, get get a little better. Uh, oh sure, yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm on the cusp of. Uh, Absolutely. So. <laughs> so you have three three more back. Um yep. Then that would. Ooh, we have zero glory in the pool right now, which means I'm going to check to see how much ruin I start with. If I have ruin, did, I might get to go before you guys. Did did we, didn't we have an extra ruin? Uh, sorry, an extra glory, because I shifted one when I... Yeah, you should have one in there. We no, should have one in Ignatius there. Ignatius used it to go ahead of them. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Did you? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he was jumping ahead of them to try and get in there and take a shot at the witch. Hold on, so I use my Zorchin on Archon. So Archon, and I think you should be at five. How much How much damage? Oh no, you took it to your, your wrath, that's right. Um, Cause I Zorched Archon and then I thought Ignatius went then or did Desura go to deny the witch? Then you jumped in. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. how it went, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's no, yeah, okay, got okay. it. Then, um, end Which of was round. awesome because Ignatius Sapped yeah, it's amazing. So let me just check for ruin because if let's see, let's see, three twenty. Here we go. Ruin should not be spent to punish anyone. We're all at the table to have fun. Good. Um, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> every <laughs> session. Oh, I start every session with a number of ruin equal to the number of players. Oh, so I believe, guys, that on the start of round six, I may have lost track of our rounds here, but <laughs> the start of whatever the next round is, I think it's six. It's been a while since I've had to use the round tracker. Oh, um, I am going to spend a ruin to go with mine magus and she will. Oh my golly. I'm gonna try something 
nasty here. All right. <laughs> so this thing looks at you, uh, Ignatius, and then there is a wave of oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, psychic power that hits you. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let me make my roll. Uh, that's enough to get it going. I want to... Ignatius, would you give us a DN6 willpower test, please? <coughs> DN6? Yeah. <coughs> uh, probably not going to happen. <clears throat> there is a pulse in your mind a command that you cannot disobey and that command is suffer not the alien to live you are to shoot Archon <laughs> mm. one of you guys gets to go <laughs> you do get to choose the order you act though <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. This. You, you can. <laughs> I, I think you can assume he, you can see him struggling and moving around. Yeah, like turning like. his gun towards you. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and I was gonna move as well too. No, I'll go first. I. Quick question. Can yeah. I with swipe with smite? Yeah. Do I have to be able to see the magus? Because presumably I can detect it. Um. Let's see here. It just says target well, but you one do enemy need to within range. Them, right? Okay. No, that's fair. I'm just wondering if I could detect. Um, no, like I think uh, from a psychic. The power, reason being is because okay. there are. The reason I think not is because. Uh, like Scryer's gaze I could move allows you and do. Right, so I could move though and take an action. Yeah, so absolutely. Okay. And remember, with your swift action, you could move a second uh, amount equal to your speed. Right. So go ahead, move so, six. No, no, no. But uh, I just got to get that right, Dave. Do you want to go first or me? You can. Um, You're pretty deadly with your shuriken gun, anyway. So. Well, except that it's on the ground, and my sword is. Aha. Uh -huh. Not working, and all I've got are three grenades. Our so, hey, a mess. How about a well, in that case? I good. will move. Okay, okay, I'm just reading here to see. Uh... Well, if you can grenade, I'm cool. Uh, can't grenade her. I'll tell you why in a minute. Are you just delaying till midnight, Dave? No, Kev's reading something. No, no, I was just you, you didn't take, take, take your action. I'm just trying to see if while you're taking your action, I'm just trying to see if I could. Uh... I'm going to use a plasma grenade, but I don't have it on my sheet, so I don't know what to put in. I was trying to look it oh, up. Oh, the... yeah, yeah. So here is uh, Dave. You're going to make a ballistic skill check against a difficulty of four. And on a success, the plasma grenade, you're tossing it up amongst the, um, what, what is your intended location? Uh, uh, I'm going hit, to hit those three guys. Yeah, so your strength times four meters uh, is how far you can go. Like the guys directly ahead of you? Yeah, those three guys that are clustered near the doorway. Yeah, it has a blast six. So can these... I put it just, just behind them? I don't remember. I, I don't. Yeah. I was on looking on the sheet. I was. I didn't see which way she went. I don't know. So how here's what it does. It does. Uh, d if you want to put, fill it in, Dave, as an extra weapon, it does ten damage. It has five ED, as minus one AP, and then it uses uh, ballistic skill and agility. Uh, ballistic skill. 
ballistic skill. Yeah, you could toss it in there and hit oh, all range. the minions, basically, as well as maybe the Magus. What's my range? Your range is uh, four times your strength. I think your strength is a three, so it'd be 12. Okay. So, um, what? I've got nothing checked off for MEL and FRC. Does that matter? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna attack, and I'm throwing it beyond those two guys in the doorway. Yeah, into that room up ahead? Yeah, because she was somewhere over there, and I was looking at the, uh, would my character have seen her go one way or the other? You definitely would have, yeah. She she went oh. to the left. To the left? Yeah. So I'll try to get it past that guy on the left. Go ahead, and give us a an attack roll, please. Come on. Maybe a well placed grenade will keep it that is a, yep that is a very well placed grenade <laughs> so then go ahead and roll damage it should be 10 with uh what do we say 4 ed 4 ed and 5 ed and minus 1 ap uh oh, 5 ed yeah yeah and minus 1 ap correct go ahead and roll that Let's see what happens. Oops, something... Something went wrong in the setup for that. Hold up. Okay. Let me take a look here. Who would have thought that just randomly throwing out letters would have ended up wrong? Okay, so the, yeah, the base DR is actually 10. Oh, okay. So I forgot the way that was set up on there. The plus ED is 5. Everything else is set up perfectly, Dave. So I just didn't, uh, I didn't communicate that properly. Go ahead and roll again. Okay, base DR. So roll my attack again or my Same damage? Same thing. Again? No, no, do damage again. Damage again, please. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you are now seeing the impact of uh, Xenos tech because when the plasma grenade goes off, the remaining two are swallowed in a fireball. And I, there's absolutely, even with my ruin, there's no fucking way I can possibly have the mega survive so she is swallowed in a ball <laughs> of plasma. Now, the thing is, I think that doesn't affect the command though. It's not a sustained right. ability. So then uh, Archon, you could still move if you want as well. Um, no, like, oh, well, I suppose I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he'll move uh, here and shout, Ignatius has turned on us. Okay. Oh, you don't know his name though, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, what is he, a human? Yeah. Uh, I'll say, the one in there is turned on us. Now, but do we know you, Archon? <laughs> the guy we don't know is telling us that Ignatius... You know what, what is, what would make sense, though, like, uh, to to no prize this, is uh, yeah. knowing, because he knows that Desura is the Psyker, and he knows that the Magus is a Psyker, Eldar are, a, like... Psychics are incredibly common in uh, their species. Yeah. He would know Sorry. that, like, well, this he's suddenly acting differently to me and would basically be telling Desura to, like, like, get like your fucking... he's been magic or something. Yeah, yeah, get your boy gotcha. in line. It's been controlled. Yeah. All right, then uh, you uh, could Desura. move up to eight. Arkham, if you really want to get out of range of this guy, you could run like fuck. Okay, so I was there. One, two, three, four. And you still have a simple action as well. So, you, oh no, you needed to draw that grenade, didn't you? So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Then uh, I guess. Desura or Doctor, do you wish to go before Ignatius? I will move through into the room. Okay. And What's... see Ignatius, presumably struggling with his. <sighs> Visibly struggling. Yeah. And suffer not I will the Xenos to live. Compel. Oh, I will nice. Compel. Hell yeah. Love it. 
counter whammy. That is, ooh, you want to wrath that? I will definitely wrath that. Yeah. Oh, look at all those dice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Holy shit. My uh, goodness. You don't even need to roll because basically every shift that he has there can increase the difficulty by one. So that would make it a seven for you to resist Ignatius. I don't think you can possibly roll that many. Lie down and rest, Ignatius. <laughs> yeah. Lie down and rest. So, what, what is, so uh, Jeff, what does Ignatius do? Um, I mean, he probably follows the command. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, just turns and puts his gun down. Gently. All right. And with that, guys, I can safely tell you, we ran it right <laughs> down to the last minute. There are no other gene stealers on the board. <laughs> so nice. that brings us to the end of the hands of the house adventure. Uh, the uh, What I will tell you in the <laughs> aftermath of this, do you remember the lights you saw in the solarium? I oh, yeah, first of all, before I ask that, did any very did anybody uh, complete their uh, their uh, objective? I think it was pretty fucking niche stuff you guys got today. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, a little tougher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just turn to Ignatius. None of this happened. Yeah, <laughs> it was right. all no. a dream. Yes, it's like this is all misinformation about the psychic stuff. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So the in the aftermath, what you find is that uh, many of the um, what, th this was a surprise attack, and many of the um, ah, I'll leave it open actually, guys, because the whatever transported these Xenos uh, cor uh, corrupted things here, they're still out there. Mm. So, um, but what we'll say for now is you are going to be able to find all the members of the uh, the Hephaestium's Rest Monastery uh, and the vast majority, well, more than half of them have managed to survive this and however grateful they were to House, uh, Igne uh, House Aquare before, they are even more so now. And you may have indeed undone a threat that may have afflicted the entire Coronas expanse. So congratulations, guys. Uh, Feels then, good. Yeah. It would, anything you guys wish to add to, as we wrap up this adventure about your heroes, what they do? <laughs> Dr. Close. Hi. Hi, I'm Marcon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Klaus like stumbles into the big big room finally, which he was never in, like leaning on his last gun and says, Oh good. You know, like yeah. this is all finished. I'm, I'm tired. Well the empty last gun at that. Because <laughs> he oh, never right. had a chance to yeah. reload. Right. No, he didn't, did he? Yep. Yeah. No, uh uh. No. Collect and my uh, equipment. Still wounded. It's very wounded. Like yeah. he's like uh he's got one point left. So he's like, you know. Mm-hmm. Aren't you a dog? fairly wrecked? Yeah. Desura or uh, Factotum Ignatius? Well, my cousin better be grateful that we've gone through all this trouble. <laughs> Quinelli. <laughs> <laughs> Quinelli's gone. He's out in the. He's. he's Quinelli's like out in the. You it's know. been months they've been out. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's in the sticks. He's out there in the. Making his name. <laughs> and Desura? I think Desura will also be trying to uh, uh, put bits of her back inside herself, so to be a limp oh. pull up Ignatius and then uh, what is your limp back to the wall. What's your pool size um, for your um, uh, medic or your Medicaid role there, Doctor? So your uh, skill, your Medicaid is a five, your intelligence is a Five. Totals a ten. Yeah, so it's ten. So you have eleven dice. You want to spend? You can s distribute eleven points back to everyone during your regroup, automatically. Oh, on a regroup, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So have you guys taken that? Cool. One, two, 
uh, plus five is seven, plus six is 13. How much did I say you had, 11? So you can restore uh, all but two points of damage. That's because the Angel of Mercy too, you got that in there? Yes, I did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, normally you can't spread it out and normally uh, you don't get to get that oh. bonus. So like, I just want something really cool about you. Right. Amazing. Nice. All right. So where how, you how just, much? Uh, you, how much were we down? Uh, I was down like uh, six. You're down is six. Uh, yeah. Ignatius is down two, and Desura is down five. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go back to down two now. Oops. Yeah. So then Ignatius and Doctor, you're and both fully that's restored. Everyone else healed fully. Oh, Incredible. Really stop there. <clears throat> All right. So well, then that brings us to the end of our session. I think that, like, I mean, obviously this is not a surprise rip. I think this was the smoothest running of the ones we've uh, run. I, I made a point of looking beforehand and for yeah. looking up the, um, what do you call it, and prepping properly uh, for this uh, and using the minion rules. God, is that fucking cool. That feels a lot oh, yeah. more exciting than this. Like the, the one for one for some of those uh, more dangerous ones feels very cool uh very appropriate but like i would have would that i had to do again i would always treat those guys as minions and just throw a ton of them at you guys because that was pretty cool yep. seeing you guys yeah, chewing yeah. through that um so then uh for those listening at home thank you so much for joining us uh, for the uh hands of the house conclusion of our hands of the house uh adventure the war story uh in our uh ongoing uh, rogue trader campaign um as is always the case if you have any comments questions or concerns regarding the session the campaign or the game we're playing please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below and i'll endeavor to reply in a timely fashion uh i will also oh uh, doctor are you intending on letting deserta heal up to full or were you leaving yourself to um, down? Because there's two wounds that cannot be healed. Yeah. I I mean, I just assumed those. Ignition, you, everyone else is up to full at this point? Not right? Desura. Desura was keeping herself yeah, down, but, too, but she is quite brittle. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead and... Um, it's fine. Yeah, go ahead and... Uh, I'll, I'll just take the two. The good... The... The... the uh, Death Corp. I'll, I'll take the two down. <laughs> Everybody else is good. Cool. Thank you. Um, so we have so, uh, also a link in the description of the video to the Dungeon Musings Discord server, and we have a channel there dedicated to Warhammer 40k games in general, uh, and because uh, we run a fair bit of them on the channel. Um, there is also a uh, link down below to our friends at Noble Knight Games. Uh, Noble Knight Games is the preeminent, uh, you, or I should say, there are a bunch of other channels over there on, on the uh, Discord channel or Discord server as well, including Find a Group, GM Discussion, a bunch of great stuff, a ton of great people. You are more than welcome to join us over there. Um, there's also a link down below to the, our friends at Noble Knight Games. Noble Knight Games is the preeminent unionized retailer of hard to find and auto print RPGs in North America. They have a terrific selection of new role playing games, board games, and card games, but where they really shine is their unmatched selection of hard to find and auto print RPGs. Uh, if they do not have something in stock in their extensive collection, you can put it on a want list and they'll send you an email when it comes in. Uh, and if you make a purchase of $10 or more through their website, be sure to enter the code uh, MUSERWINTER, all caps all one word at checkout and you will save yourself 10% on the purchase. You can also, uh, if you're listening to this after April 15, 2024, come back to one of our more recent videos and you'll find what the current discount code is now. Um, there is also a link down below to something called Heroes Save Villages. That is the charity fundraising campaign that we run on the channel. It benefits the SOS Children's Villages International Charity. Really incredible game. Uh, incredible game. Uh, I looked at the book and I'm like, oh, this is a great game. Um, a really incredible organization that benefits over 80,000 orphaned and abandoned children, including in over 130 countries. Uh, and all donations that go through that link go directly to them. If you donate $25 or more or have since January 1st, 2024, starting in April, so beginning of April and going every week, we'll be having over on the Charity Initiatives channel on the Dungeon Musing Discord server, donors who have donated $25 or more through that link, um, you will be able to vote on our charity sessions uh, in the beginning of May. On May the 4th, we'll be running two sessions of uh, Star Wars games, and it will be the fine folks who donate to that charity who will be voting on what era we're playing in, canonical and non-canonical. We'll be voting on what heroes we're playing, what villains they'll be facing, and 
what RPG we'll be using. So um, if you have donated $25 or more since the start of the year, be sure to send me an email at uh, dungeonmusings at gmail.com with uh, your proof of donation. And then uh, please, once you see the voting open up, go and cast your vote over there. I'll have more information about the options, but we plan to have some interesting uh, options for you to choose from for all of those different uh, factors that will go into those games. Um, the last thing I will say is an enormous uh, thank you to our stalwart crew. So Dave, James, Jeffrey, and Sean, thank you so much for playing tonight, guys. I know we spent four weeks, when it's a weekly game, spending four sessions in one game doesn't chew up quite as much time, but this did take a lot of time for us to play through this. I really appreciate you letting me uh, take the opportunity to uh, introduce you to Wrath and Glory. I had so much fun running this game. Um, yeah, it was game. Very good. Yeah. We will be back uh, in the Coronas Expanse with our regular crew in two weeks' time. But until then, we hope that we gave you a few hours to take your mind off the troubles of our world and think about the troubles that this lowly factotum for the House of Quare is encountering uh, as he is simply trying to do his cousin's dirty work. Uh, and until we see you again, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming. See ya.